filmed in two weeks i haven't seen new content I, in a minute girl i ghosted i ghosted i disappeared but then i did see you, you tweeted something mental health or you needed a break yeah i needed a break because do you know what it what, do you know what it is when i first started the show it was just the show yeah i was just filming for cocktails and takeaways and that was it vibes now that you know god is good things are coming mm. in there's some times where i am filming four or five times a week yeah it gets a lot with like this week alone, premiere on Monday, yeah. Channel Four Tuesday, JD Wednesday. Um, I had my flow episode. That even though I wasn't filming, I still had to um, get, the get the content out, liaise with flow. Um, and because we were in between two time zones, they're in America, I'm here, oh, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. had to get things approved for them. No, we don't like this. Change, 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 change. Mm. We had that, and then Friday Guap, girl. Oh. These days, that's how my week has been, and I feel like it just started. It just started catching up on me, mm -hmm. energy-wise. Work, then obviously social media mm -hmm. as well. And then don't forget real life. Then real life as well. It's like, like the brain's always on go. On go. And you're trying to, you're always trying to be on the step ahead and just one thing after the other. Literally like, like people think, oh yeah, nine to five, nine to five, um, you know, it's difficult. You know, when you have a nine to five, five o'clock you switch off. With this job, you, you don't never switch, switch off. off. You don't switch off. I was at Guap looking at emails and my manager was like, are you working? And I said, baby, I'm always working. Yeah. I, I'm always working. Facts. But yeah, I just needed some time off. I felt bad because I, you know, I missed the bad boys, the girls. But they, um, they'll understand though. That's the thing. Like, but you just put the pressure on yourself. The pressure. The pressure was really what's up. But speaking of Guap, I want to fucking get straight into it. Girl. No, we need to talk about <laughs> Guap. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Sis. it. Uh, let's talk about it. Wasn't that let's that whole that was a whole fairy tale, girl? Like I didn't even. The thing is, yeah, I never. I was it. looking forward to it, but I wasn't expecting it to be of that level. The and level, caliber. the caliber was caliber. Breaking news. Breaking. Breaking. Broken. Breaking news. Listen, guap. Listen, I was taken aback. Do you know what? You're not going to lie. I spoke to Ibrahim. I had I had low expectations. Not in terms of the event itself, mm -hmm. but even, I think more the, what people were wearing. Really? I was like, I know there's certain girls that are going to stand the fuck up. Uh-huh. AP. Purr. Mariam. Purr. Nella. Purr. Who, who else was like, who else was there? Uche, mm -hmm. Wumi Bello. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know the usual. You know the girls. The girls you know that the girls, get it. The girls that get always it. Always get it. And I was like, I I don't know, man. I just feel like there's going to be like 80% of girls that are just going to look trash and the rest really? are going to look bang. Not going to lie, yeah. Everyone so, can be. Sorry, slap me for what I said. Yeah. Slap me for what I said. Do you know what? Yeah, I didn't think that. Did but you? Just because of the people that were invited mm. are actually content, content crea yeah. Yeah, creators. Whereas the other galas, it's just like musicians musicians and they don't really care for they're like they're creating fight, fighting for their life uh, exactly fighting for their life the air force yeah, gang like, air force gang yeah but the girls i thought do you know what i feel like and i've seen a couple of tweets people looking for designers mm -hmm. stylists so but i was still surprised though i was, I was shocked. still surprised the girls i there was not a single girl that i looked at and i was like my sister i saw one girl that had a halo braid did you see it? in the red dress? Bruh! Big up fucking her. I'm gonna get the picture up. She, she, I, I don't know what she does and who she is, but she wore a red dress and she had a halo that was made from a braid. braid. I was like, stop it right now. I said, no, 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 no. As soon as I went on the red carpet, I saw my good sister Koi. She came in a blonde. She had beach blonde hair, dyed her eyebrows blonde, and wore a beautiful black dress. She was doing the interviews. When I saw Koi is when I said, okay, this levels. Is, the levels is here. Yeah. I said, yeah? I said, y'all came like that? Nah. No body miss. Okay, there was a couple of misses. Yeah, there's always gonna be a couple, couple, couple misses. misses. Couple but misses. yeah. <laughs> but for the majority, everyone and looks even the fantastic. men. Even oh the my guys. gosh, you know the guy, sorry, I don't know his name, but he does the property, the housing. 
He's Put your house in. Ha! Shine, shine, baby. When he I said, shine, shine, wow. baby. I, I said, said, again. You should have been my prince. When I saw him, I said, shine, shine, baby. The glistening. He wore the suit and he had the diamond. Oh my God. Yeah, there was this even sh- one girl. Sorry, I'm just having flashbacks. Did Go you on. see there was one girl? She had this thing on her hair, but it, it was lighting up. Lights. Yeah, it had. I didn't see it that. It was like connected to one battery thing, and it was lighting up. I said, "Wow." I didn't see that. I'm gonna get my editors to try and find the find picture it. of it. Yeah, but honestly, I was blown away by what people were wearing. I felt yeah. like, of course, the girls came harder than the mm-hmm. guys, but I felt like I saw guys that looked really, really nice. Yeah. Obviously, one person that stuck out to me was Charlie Mace. Charlie oh, Mace. He looks. He was the first person I saw oh, when I walked he in. He looks so suave, and I just love the tie. The yeah, red, even the hat, the top hat. It was simple, but I, you know, sometimes when sometimes when you have a clean look, mm-hmm. and then the, the, I like the the, the tie the, on his neck. Yeah, it was just giving Effective. Prince Charming. Literally, what other guys blew you away? Um, what other guys blew me away? Yeah, um, I don't think. Um, I think you said. Um, yeah, the guys were the guys. I'm trying. To, I can't remember any standout from the guys unless I, the one that I mentioned compared to what I've seen at GRM. Oh, and okay. Others, the guys definitely showed up. They, oh, they I showed did up. like NSG Papi. I like the um, African attire. I love the African attire. Um, I think I saw Mojo. He wore African attire, but it was like glitter. So he wore Ooh. African. It had like diamonds, diamonds coming all across the the well, material. You know I think I didn't see that many men. You know, I think the girls. There were so many girls. So and the girls, girls were so overpowering with their outfits that I hardly even saw guys. Girl, how many times someone stepped on your fucking dress? So, girl. girl. That's not. I'm. I'm not gonna do a long trial for a minute. Like, no, neither am I. It's neither too, am like, I. I'm it was done too now. Much. Yeah. Stepping on my dress. Stepping on my And then you're trying hood. to walk to this. That's why I don't even stand. When I'm dancing, my my trial was on another chat. I said, oh, I can't even stand up because <laughs> if I'm moving this hair, moving it there, it's long. It's long. It's long. Honestly, I was. I had an issue with the amount of people that there were and my dress. Mm-hmm. I was like, you like, you're trying to ruin my shit. Like, yeah. I'm trying to shine. And then you're also, you don't want to take it personal, but at the same time, it's like, you didn't see that trail? You didn't see that, that long ass fucking frilly ass trail? Six foot long fucking trail. And you're walking, you're walking with confidence all of a sudden. Boop, stop. Trust me, stop. Boop. Trust me. And I had a cape. So the, not, like my whole thing would, <laughs> they'll now pull it back. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll be stepping, oh, trust me, someone, you and you can't around. be angry. Yeah, oh, babe, sorry. Oh, yeah. But it's like, head. did you do that on purpose, like, bitch? Girl, you're trying to rip me apart. You're trying to do that. But can I just say, you look phenomenal. Say thank of you. Of course. I did a show, never miss it. No, but when I saw yours, I said, ah, I, things, I, saw, I thought Fairy Godmother. When I saw it, straight it away. Mother. Oh, but I didn't know if it was Fairy Godmother or if he was doing a, like, a little spin off twist on Little Red Riding Hood. No, I wanted to be Fairy Godmother. I was doing Mother. Obviously, I was inspired by the Fairy Godmother of Cinderella. Oh. I wanted to do a different color. And I thought it, it was really on theme because also Cox was a takeaway, we was nominated. So I wanted to do a color that was similar to our brand color. Oh. So that was where the inspiration came from. So we just kind of combined the two. I think I was going for more. Um, inspired as opposed to costume because I know yeah, some yeah, people yeah. did costume yeah but um, you better stop <laughs> <laughs> you better stop you've started she started I just want to say that I feel like when you do gala though I don't think it, it should be costume it's literal please yeah like it's not costume and yeah. I think that's kind of where some people did go wrong because yeah. we saved that for Halloween hello hello for the people that celebrate I'm a Christian woman I don't celebrate Halloween I don't celebrate Halloween but girl I must have a look for Halloween just so I can do the costume the part. costume yeah she leave that it. for Halloween I knew that people are going to take the theme and take it literally Too don't bad. literally come as a character yeah. come as something that is inspired, inspired by the character yeah. but what was your inspiration for your dress mine was Belle Be- from Beauty and the Beast Beauty and the Beast who was your beasts uh, no beast girl I mean mm-hmm. yeah I mean if your beast hit me up you know, <laughs> beastie I like the beastie, you beastie. <laughs> but yeah no mine was inspired by to be honest I actually wanted to be Cinderella but they didn't have the material in uh, blue so I just said alright cool we'll do Belle little roses in the hair you look phenomenal. Thank and you, girl, horse some motherfucking carriage photo shoot, bitch. Bitch. And then I put this shit up right now. I cannot. Horse and... Ca- Ow, do you know what? The whole shoot. 
took me out because you had the the man with the top hat that was part of the photo <laughs> you two was posing the horse was well brushed the carriage just I was like this is the fucking level of shit I love to see and of course Nicole never misses on the camera never. man never fucking misses on the camera never it was nah. The sh- I think that was that was the best shoot I saw in terms of photography. It was the best one I saw. Thank like you. Like someone sis. that makes effort into their shit. Are you dumb? Like yeah, you, like you, I you, love you, it. You brought a carriage and horse. Of course, you ain't gonna tell me fairy tale. I ain't gonna use the opportunity and be like, Whew, honestly, excited. not gonna lie. I I was so inspired by the looks that you guys have done before. That when I when I when this came to me, I said, I need to meet the big girl I standards. I love that. Yeah, though. seriously. I said, I need to meet the big girl standards because I love the effort that you guys put in into your into your looks, the thought processes. Like, the, every time people will wear boohoo dress, misguided dress, mm. PLT dress, you guys will say, no. Uh-uh, honey. We gonna do something. Yeah, and like, it's, like, it's just that one day and I feel like I love, I love that girls came out like you know sometimes in the UK I feel like they kind of make it a bit like scary to step out of your comfort zone so uh-huh. people might want to do it but they might think am I doing too much yeah but as long as you know like AP will always be doing too much and extra yeah never feel bad for doing too much because if I had thought of it I would have done it to you do you know what you I mean you looked incredible honestly like I I really really I really tried I'm very I'm very I'm still getting used to doing the sexy girl thing yeah so I, you did good things. Yeah, so I made sure that I got a makeup artist. I saw got, the photo. I did a photo shoot. Big up, Amzi. Who was oh your photographer? Amzi. 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 To, is it? Amzi. Those the, photos came out. Chris. I thought, was he staying in a hotel or something? But yeah, like, I was. Wow, I said grand. That's, what, that's the level. So we, so, so, so I got a hotel right by the... Um, right by the National Museum. Yeah. And I was like, I wanted it to be quite regal. Yeah. Like, I was like, if we're doing Cinderella, I want somewhere where um, it could be regal. Where the grand. godmother appears. Yeah, where the godmother appears. Like, come on. So obviously I got Amzi. Amzi is a phenomenal photographer. So I was like, Amzi, please, like, you're the only one I trust to, to shoot me. Yeah. And when she was shooting me, I said, so, I said, who is this? Babe, that's, isn't it just the best feeling? Babe? I said, sorry, I'm not quite sure who this person on the screen is because they can't be me. Girl, the lips was there. It that co- one on the stairs. It could <laughs> 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 it was like that. Even I said, I'm enjoying... Oh, can we even talk about the award? Oh, God. Podcast of the year. Do you know what? I can't even lie to you. I was gassed. I said to Mariam, I'm not going to lie, like... If it's not us, it's gonna be cocktails and takeaway. Like Stop big up it. everyone else though. Like the other podcasts we're hitting, but the things you've done this year alone, I said it's it's even also our sis, like girl. Do you know what? I thought the exact same thing, and honestly, I am I'm so so on it. I was shit, girl. I was shitting myself. No, I was nervous because I was like, oh my god, like I re- I want to win this, but the 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 people in the category were so strong. Yeah. I feel like. Even when um, Shayo and Victor were announcing, and big up Shayo and Victor for hosting as well. I'm so proud. I'm the so looks, proud. The, the looks, banter. The banter. Victor, you know Victor never misses. Victor. Like, that one is just a fine man. He can wear a trash oh bag God, and he can be I fine. Just, how can you just be just fancying somebody so bad? So but bad, just, just so fancy. He's just such a fine man for just no reason. Every time you see him, you just want to lick yes, him. Yes, because he looks like a chocolate like ice cream. Like a chocolate bar. Chocolate ice cream. And not only is he sexy, he has a, a phenomenal personality. Yeah. Shayo killed it the white i did to put this up the white um gown the white jacket and the white dress she wore for her performance she done it before i think i missed it i don't even know where you ran away to she did a performance at the end tired. at the end she wore a white dress and a white fur jacket and i wow. was like this is the this is a fucking look i love the changing of the host it's just like what are yeah. they gonna come down with next the young vibrant like we've never seen shia or victor host before but honestly they did an incredible job amazing so so pleased for them so when they were announcing they were they said this category is so difficult and i was like bro it, it, in my head i was thinking it is from the get-go remember we said it we were like do you know what yeah even to be nominated with among yeah the amongst, my, amongst my mates my peers my peers but honestly pressed you guys have done phenomenal Thank like you, honestly girl. if it wasn't me it would have had to be you it would have for, for for the growth that you guys have done within the year for the the imprint that you've put in the podcast society i am so so honored 
I'm so mm-hmm. honored. But guys, if you didn't know, cocktails and takeaways. Big up cocktails and takeaway. Big Podcast up the, the bad man. girls and the bad boys. Every fucking time. Can I just say though, when you was doing your acceptance speech, Joyce didn't want to let go of the cape. No, my sister it was said very. Enough. Is it? Yeah, no, it was, I thought it was part of the. the it was the, the God's mother. Thank she you. Said, I'm the mother. Thank no. you. No, it was given mother. <laughs> I want to thank God. Without God, is not possible. <laughs> It, no, even I'm sorry. I don't know why they sat Joyce table at the back, but even her walking to the front, holding, she was walking like the mother. Girl, I was running. I, I don't know why. Do you know what? Someone, someone sent me a picture of, of me, and I literally ran. I literally ran to the stage. I don't you know was why. chasing just, Cinderella. And everybody really was like, "Come down, just like come down." They even said, then, "Come down." They said, "Take a breath, just a take a time." Not, they're gonna take wait your time. for you. <laughs> take your time. But I, honestly, not gonna lie, I had no idea why I was running. And I was just, I said, "Just like, why, why are you running? Why are she you said, running?" I'm gonna get my award. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I was so, I was so, my mind. You know, was it was like the this. feet, the over, and the things that probably went slow motion, slow motion in your head. Yeah. It probably honestly, I probably thought I was walking too fucking slow. <laughs> and do you know what's so bad? I was barefoot as well. I took off Ashley's time ago. I was like, yeah, yeah, I was barefoot. I'll cover those days barefoot. Oh, that's why I covered that because I didn't even see that. I said, thank God my toes are not out. But honestly, like my um, what did my speech was good? I thought, yeah, do you know. I what hope was there because I didn't see your live reaction. What was I didn't? What was your face like when they said cocktails and takeaway? Like was I, it like I a, don't know. I just you know. Did you anyone record that? Huh? Did anyone record? Did you have anyone recording your face? My I face. Don't, I don't. I, I need to find it. I need to find someone recording my face because I I was already quite disheveled because something happened in the bathroom with my dress. Oh no! And yeah, I had it. Be, so me and my me and my manager were my were like in the bathroom for like half an hour trying to sort it out. So when they were like, so we were like, I can't miss this nomination. I can't miss this nomination. Oh. So as they were saying it, I had ran out from the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, so literally I was so disorientated yeah. as to what was going on. So when they were like, cut us a take us, I was like, no. I don't even know. I just said, I just need to go and get, I just need to go and get this. <laughs> just like, I just need to get the award. I just need to get over it. I just need to get my award. I just need to go on stage, say my thank yous and dip on them. Did you practice in case you won there? I did. I had a speech ready. I had a structure. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I don't feel like this award could, ju- I could just accept this award on my, by myself. As you are like, you are so a part of this show. It's oh, unbelievable. No, Every single person. So... No, it's so true. Like I, I said, I said at the end, I said, listen, Cotto's Takeaways is is a, is a collaborative attempt. You know, every person that's come on my show has influenced and has pushed and has contributed to the success. Like I'm just one person. We all win. We all. Won. Do you know what I'm saying? So honestly, I really do feel like every person that's on this show is it has a piece of that award. Like. Remember in remember yeah, Let me it, have my piece. Let me borrow yeah, the award for one piece. day. Yeah. Let me stand it up. Once. Yeah, trust me for, for the for the aesthetic. <laughs> but the aesthetic. Rest, it would suit. It would it would fit your um. What is it? What's the that? Bar. The bar. The bar. The gold bar. <laughs> you just place it on the just gold place bar. It you can there. have it rent it. You rent, rent it. it. You rent it for the day. You can rent it for the day. But honestly, I'm so happy. Thank you again to the bad boys and bad girls for voting. Like honestly, honestly we were pushing on the voting. We, we, like I was begging everyone, and everyone came through. So thank you so much, guys. I'm so honored. I'm so honored, and I'm so so happy, and I'm so honored again to be nominated with my sisters pressed. I can't wait to see. Just when it's your journey. turn it's a journey i can't win don't worry there's bad there's, there's bad more to things. come there's more to come but we're just getting started we're just one just one year in the game just in the kitchen like. just in the kitchen like come on now come. who was your best dress i got up? i'm not even being biased and i know people are gonna think i am but mariam no nah, it was it was it was, it was mariam it was mariam that's not biased that's not biased that it was mariam she was that ice queen in real life like i couldn't when i saw mariam i said yeah, I said you the best dressed. That's right. She was the best dressed. Like it was just phenomenal. She had the thing going out. It was three D. It was three D. It was it. Her dress was fantastic. Great, great. Like the hair, the icy blonde hair. The look. It was nah, just it was a look. Amazing. It was a fucking fucking look. Honestly, it was it was a phenomenal night. I'm so proud of Guap. Um, seeing the creators as well. The food, my sister. The food. I thought they was gonna give us small cocktail, cocktail food, hand ham food. The fact they even had jello fries. And they jello. had jello fries and they said, oh, "Yeah, everybody in the bowl, go and pack it, pack it, pack it." Everybody was packing the jello fries. When I the had food. one spoon, I said, "Oh my gosh, it's actually nice." Do you know when it's surprising? Like it's actually nice. Like, like I'm actually eating good at an event. At an oh. event in the National Museum. Ah uh-uh. ah. 
that this they'll give you the a cold sandwich. That I yeah. paid for, like, huh? I feel like they set the precedent for moving galas. forward, galas, events, everything. Literally. I feel like, and that, that was the first one. It was the first one. It was a great Crazy. set. It was the great setup. National Museum performances. Uh, Jack, do you know what? Jack James, I love him. Yeah. I've, I love Jack James. Um, I think I've spoken about him a couple of times. Jack James performed. And he actually came up to me and he was like, Madam Joyce, I was looking at him and I said, Jack James. And, I, and he said, yeah, I said, no. You fainted. I said, I can't. Do you know what? Yeah, His I don't voice is amazing. He was amazing. The and that was live. Live. Crazy. He was giving, oh. I yeah. Said, Ooh, That's what I think I sound like when I'm singing Adele. I, yeah. You better. I said, well, so this is why people think I can't sing because there's people like this coming on stage. Stage. Live vol. Live O of the wow. it was it was amazing. Performances was amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better night. Plus the dancery at the end. The oh, way I, I, I danced like David Daz. You were the you, composers you though. I, see, I was in the toilet fighting for my life. Oh <laughs> I didn't watch it. Compo- you mi- composers, they got pe- nah, they they always You know composers a party never day. miss. Ever. You know composers, honestly, I love the composers like Every time I see them, every time they perform, it they just, just makes you happy, man. It's just like literally like dancery, live music. I, oh, honestly, phenomenal. I'm sad. I heard people screaming from yeah. the toilet while I was fighting for my life. That was the time when I was pissed that I had the trail because I was like, if I get up now, I'm gonna have to fold it again. When yeah, I'm... me, I would have to wrap mine in my hand, wrap oh. the cape around my hand so that I can be walking around. It's but honestly, not gonna lie, I was I spent most of that barefoot, but no one knew. I mean, it did its job. The it trail was job. covering. The trail was covering my toes. Thank God, because the toes was looking. The oh, way they, where did they, you they, they think they of like everybody chatting shit online about people's things? Like, I hate that shit, girl. Like, they always have something to say, but I just think, do you? What would you sh- open your wardrobe and show me two dresses that is even nice? That's even custom. <sighs> That's not Asha B from your auntie's house from two five years ago. Show me what your mum even wore on her wedding day and you told her she looked beautiful. I mean, she probably did, but it's just too much energy because you're, I mean, like, leave the girls alone. On a big man thing, let's be real here because this is CNT. How much did you spend for Guap? Oh, girl, are we really going to do Yeah, that? we are. Okay, so my dress was, um, I think my dress was 1.5. Okay. Um, The horse and carriage was... Oh, well, should I just do my dress, my my look? Okay, yeah, the look. Relax. Yes. Okay. So yeah, my I think my dress was one point five. Hair, I bought new hair. That mm-hmm. was um actually no, that was gifted to me. Let me mm-hmm. not lie. I paid my hairstylist, makeup artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. And the shoes I already had, they can't really see the shoes like that. Okay, my dress was one k. The dress and my dress was in Belgium. Oh, I and went to Brussels. To ca- ca- I flew. Flags. I flew twice to Brussels to get my dress. Now, when I see people comparing events and they're like, oh, this is why we can't do events like the Met Gala. Who goes to the Met Gala? Celebrities. And not just any celebrities, millionaires. Billionaires. Billionaires that are red. Do you know how much it costs for a table at the Met Gala? It's like 20K. For a table to sit. Yeah. And they be no, buying no, no, it's tables. Not even 20K. I think it's like maybe 50K. To sit down alone. It's yeah. 50K. And they were buying it for their friends and their people. Everyone. Yeah. The dress. Dutch Gabbana. Mm-hmm. Versace. The shoes. Uh, the even, shoes. I can't, even the shoes that I really actually once had. It was like another one point. I said. Adiola. It's okay. Gucci. This. That's why they can reach those levels. Yeah. Because, of course, for, for, for someone to buy a light up dress, do you think it's free? For somebody to for somebody to do wires and mm-hmm. this and that, the reason why something like the Met Gala can be possible is because the people that attend have the money to be able to wear those clothes, get those clothes custom made. Yeah. For you to get a custom made Versace, Versace dress. Versace. We're talking about, we're talking about dresses that are like a hundred The owner of Versace is even taking there. part in the design process. Like the fuck? We're talking about people that are willing to, to drop 50K on a dress. 50K on a dress to get to that level. And you want to be comparing, this is the UK's And then you want to be comparing, just getting into hold ballers. on, you want to even be comparing to girls that just, that even we just managed the 1K. How much can you spend, please, on a dress? Show me to come to the gala. Open the purse. Open your 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 
purse I and let's it. see how much you want to spend. Because there's all the... That, 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 I want to do it. Look, this, do, 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 this, do, do that. this. When you read us, for me to... For you, for Even people's custom birthday dresses, Joyce. The shine, shine, baby. Uh-uh. When you're wet, you, you, you use... You went to go buy material. Like you went to buy material from Dorsten Market. You went to go and sew it to your to yeah, your auntie, auntie to go, that does Asha B. She now said, "Okay, come back." You're not. She's now sewing, sewing, sewing with her no, no, with her. You know the you know the sewing wood that <laughs> the, the foot pedal. Boom, 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 No first fitting, no second no, fitting. No, nothing. Just one, one and done. You and see? you're even going home crying because you one don't like done. the dress. You're now wearing the dress. The breast is your your breast. That's here. It's is now. You do the justice here. It's not fitting. Is, it's not fitting. Though, and then you want to talk about what other people are wearing. Are wearing. And the thing is, I get it. Fashion be critiquing, but some of you lot's energy is just too negative. It's not even. It's not in the right place. It's not even making sense. That dress, your dress, her dress. I said, but even the dress, can you even bring it? Did your dress? The like people are saying. I could I could have done better. You don't even have unless you're a designer, mm-hmm. unless you can sew your own shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you could have done better, my sister. You couldn't have done better because all these blah blah blah. You would have worn the things that you're saying. You could have worn. Could when you add it all up, would you have really have worn it when would it comes have, time yeah, to when, pay? Yeah, when it comes time to pay in, because I saw your I saw your birthday dress. I it didn't give what you. It didn't give what you thought. Mm-hmm. It didn't give what you thought. You you thought shine shine was enough because there's so many things that I could have worn too. But I'm sorry, my sister, it, it was too much money. It was too much money. If listen, if I had 10k to bang on the dress, they would ah. shine bright like a diamond. The thing will start lighting up. In fact, it will start sinking. Uh, I shall get. Even like, like, like pay you for as well. To like, pay for a sty- Do you know how much stylists are playing? Someone like Elshi that pays ham- like four or five bills just to just, just to, to s- consult, just to give me an idea. Let alone photographer. Ah. Let alone hair. Let alone makeup. Mm-hmm. If let alone hotel. Let alone horse carriage. Let a- bruv relax. And not everyone is even in a position to get gifted certain things. Certain exactly. things were even cut out of my budget because people were happy to yeah, get it. Yeah, exactly. Me. Same here. Same so here. So it's like y'all need to actually relax. And also, um, some people's photography didn't actually highlight the dress because you weren't there in real life. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. There were some people that looked ph- phenomenal, but obviously the angling wasn't great. Yeah. Obviously, I I I knew there was going to be an issue with photography just so because you need the drop. Yeah to and get so ready I bought my own photographer yeah. I was lucky so yeah. I had a personal photographer exactly. with me exactly Mariam funny enough I spoke to Mariam about this and I was like I'm getting my own photographer she was like why I said something is telling me that imagine like you have 400 people mm-hmm. in a room even if you have 20 photographers that's 20 photographers mm-hmm. to 400 people exactly. there are people that's gonna be so how when am I gonna get my pictures and how many times are you gonna take it and how many times are you gonna take it I need someone that will wait for me and let me twist <laughs> let me pose the trail let needs me, to be adjusted yeah, every adjusted. second do you know what I'm saying I needed someone that I needed to have TLC exactly so that's why I got my own photographer there's some people that, that all they have is those three Getty images literally that were give and Pa, 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 and that's thank not you. even the best angle so it's the best like angle. and they're not photogenic things like that like even me my getty images wasn't the best but the images that amzi took of me were phenomenal exactly that, and again are you gonna do you have money to pay for your own photographer mm-hmm. okay cool mm-hmm. so what i'm saying here fashion can be critiqued yeah mm-hmm. but i personally feel it's important if you're going to critique someone be on that level uh-huh don't be on primark level and be saying why she went gucci don't do that that's my Babe, issue. Same. That is my issue. People always talk. If people always want to talk about Joan, what's that woman? The woman that passed away. Fashion police. The Joan. Oh yeah, yeah. I see people talk about her. She was she was fashion police, but she looked correct. She was she of was, caliber. She was of caliber to talk about this. Don't talk about don't talk about brands and budgets you can't have. You I don't think. have. I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry. It, it, I'm not. I'm not. On, I'm not for it. You can have a pos- You can have a respectable critique I didn't yeah. like that dress that wasn't cool I didn't like yeah. that mm, that one, that dress not really I didn't a like bit of me like, how can you wear I could have done better why would you lot keep inviting all these yeah th- they should have been uninvited but she wasn't even invited she wasn't considered even invited or even thought about acknowledged you don't even know you who, who are, are you, you? <laughs> We don't even know you. <laughs> who are you? No, like, who are you? What? I don't know you. I ain't never seen you before. What you do? Like, nah, what you man. Do? We're Self, all in there. Self-proclaimed the... fashion police. Who, who signed you? What's your credentials? Show me. Who have you... What, for you to be a fashion police... When you're a police officer, yeah, uh-huh. you have to go to training. Show me the badge. 
You have to have a badge. You have to go to a boot camp. All yeah. that. If you want to be fashion police, please. One, you have to have the credentials. Uh-huh. Do you have a fashion background? Mm-hmm. Do you have education in fashion? Mm-hmm. Is even I, your page? If I go to your page, can I be like, oh, I see this why. This girl does fashion. I get it. Don't be talking about me and your when Asha care uh, boot cuts. Are you crazy? Then who your could? Who have you actually worked with? Mm-hmm. If you're the fashion police, who have you actually said, okay, I could I could be co-signed by this person, this person, this person. Nobody knows you, bro. Nobody. You're just you're just fashion police by self-proclamation. Just talking for the sake of it. That's why I can't take the internet seriously, bro. I can't take I can't take the internet seriously. I just, I just you just gotta just for yourself post it. I look banging and go about your day because honestly you do, and it's okay. I'm I'm very much for people speaking about certain things. Yeah. If you want to speak about it, but for me. I have to laugh. I laugh at certain people because it's like one, you didn't get invited. Uh-uh. Two, you would it, for you to even s- get to that level of yeah, I'm I could dress like this. It's you. You have to have the money. Mm-hmm. You have to have the creative even understanding. the access. Some of you are saying you would have worn this. You would have worn that. You would have DM them asking for. A pre- they wouldn't even reply to you. Some of these designers would they? Some, would they even respond some, to you? Some designers don't even work with certain people. Yeah, that's like, even of high caliber. Literally, because they're just like mm, they don't want to associate their name with to make this person. Yes, yeah, so, exactly. Babe, you're saying you would have worn this. Would they have worn you? Ask them. Ask them. That's that's my comeback to what anyone has said because I saw someone. Oh yeah, why did she wear that dress? Why did she wear that dress? But when I go on your when I go on your page, boohoo, boohoo, plt, plt, misguided, misguided, asos, asos, sheen, sheen, sheen. Well, why are you going? Why are you talking? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You've never worn anything custom in your life except Asha Abida, your auntie sewed. Exactly. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We we, we fly thing. out for our shit. Uh, yeah. Her. We fly to different states for our shit. Thank her. you. Thank you and good night. When you Next. get to that level, you can comment on what we have to wear. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Anyways, Guap was amazing. I had a good time. Everyone looks good. Do you have any last thing to say about it before I introduce you? Um, oh, introduction. <laughs> I have to introduce you, my guest. Um, my sister, it was just an amazing night. It was just mm-hmm. magical. And the fact that everyone, de- it was just black positivity. That's, that's what I just oh, loved. But black excellence indeed. Honestly, Literally. I was so happy to see a room full of successful people. Mm-hmm. We had winners like Nifa. Nifa oh, won Nifa best looked amazing. Star. The blue with the... Phenomenal. Phenomenal. She looked incredible. Yeah. We had uh, Munya. DLT. Yeah. DLT. Oh, my babies. You know, I love DLT. Yeah. I was so happy when they won. Honestly. Who else won? Does the Qu- shoe fit? Does the shoe fit? Wall of comedy. Yes. Phenomenal. I was a bit disappointed that I didn't see any of the... Um, any of the boys be there. Oh, I yeah, was a bit yeah, dis- yeah. It would have been nice for to them to, 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 to be a part of that. Um, I know Nella was there, but it was for the does the shoe fit. That's the man them. Like, yeah, yeah, I would have yeah. loved to see them. Um, at least one of them represent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. You know, you, you we did really it together. Made that show, you made that you know, show. Like, big up. Quaja Housing, again. <gasps> yeah. Um, I can't remember what it was a word. Um, changers, world changers, or UK changers. Yeah. Honestly, what? this is a second award, you know, and I'm honestly, this is a second well award. Deserved that I've seen him, I've personally been at the award to watch him receive and he fucking deserves it. I was yeah. so happy and he looked phenomenal. Amazing. Who else was a winner? We had so, there was so many There winners. was so many, there was so many. many. What else, what, who, what, who other was notable? Henry. Um, oh, Henry. Henry won an award. I'm gonna put up a picture of me and Henry actually because we have a thick picture together. Um, She, presenter. Presenter of the year, phenomenal. Well, deserved. well fucking deserved, ma'am. Oh, she bless has she been even doing cried. amazing things. Amazing. I, I didn't see her because I was I had to run upstairs. Oh, After I yeah, won, I yeah. ran upstairs. They asked me to start taking videos and pictures of that. And I was so my head was like this. Everywhere. Everybody's like, Joyce, can you do this? Just I, I couldn't even hear anyone. Yeah. I was so deaf to what everybody was doing or saying. But Henry well fucking deserved. Is there anyone I'm missing that I care to mention? Um I can't remember it. Same, me too. But that doesn't mean that I don't love you. So don't be offended yeah, if I don't say Shout out to it. all the winners. But shout out to all the winners. Shout out to all the nominees. Shout out to the black excellence in that room. Really? And of course, shout out to Ibrahim and Jide. I love those boys, man. Amazing and scenes. what they have done is phenomenal. Right, that was Guap. And without further ado, I would love to introduce my guest. You already know the vibes. It is our, our good sis. She back again. Again, per you better tell your friend. You thought last time was the end. 
trust me, they try to come for my Euro boy last time. Let me even do round two. Yeah, 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 we better. <laughs> we were we, we were taking lessons. <sighs> Literally lessons. We take a lessons. Stop. This is my good sister. Let me say, um, I I bro I bro me hey, hey, sister me come on <laughs> she's back again. Of course, you already know she is one half of a phenomenal podcast she is also independently one of the best content creators in the fucking uk oh, fashion you, beauty sis. personality you name it she's there it's ap looking all clean man you know her our chocolate mother Wheel it, DJ. Wheel it, DJ. Wheel it, DJ. Wheel it. Come on, 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 come on. Sis, how are you? Welcome back, ma'am. I'm good, Welcome man. Back. Thank Talk you for having me. me back. It's always, man. It's always a pleasure. How was your week? Talk to me. Oh, my week's been good. Obviously, it's Libra season. <coughs> best season. <coughs> so I'm just like, I'm buzzing. Yes, it's your birthday tomorrow. No, it's my birthday on Tuesday, but celebrating. Okay, tomorrow. so we are celebrating tomorrow for Adiola's birthday. We are going to be turning up, uh, 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 turning up one time for her birthday, which I'm really excited about. Um, what has this season taught you i love i love birthday season because mm. it's like i feel like it's a time to reflect it is what's your reflection i hate birthdays you know why like i just feel like i always feel sad on my birthday girl but the thing is i'll celebrate for celebrating sake but mm-hmm. i just hate the feeling of i think it's because it is a time of reflection mm-hmm. it's just too deep for me she said, I can't, I can't compartmentalize <laughs> my emotions. I cannot just I cannot process. I just like, for my birthday, I don't know why I always look at the things that I don't have rather than everything I've achieved. I saved Girl. that one for maybe the end of the year. But my birthday, I just think, maybe it's because you're getting older as well. So it's like yeah. a time clock scene. It see, gives that kind of vibes. I hear it. Girl, do you know what's so bad? I never used to celebrate my birthday. But what I started realizing is that I would always say, oh, I don't want to celebrate my birthday. I don't want to celebrate my birthday. Then when the day comes, uh, I'd be sad that I didn't celebrate. Babe. So I was like. I just I really didn't celebrate. I know I'm thought not to force yeah. me to celebrate. Y'all don't love me that much. This is me. <laughs> this is a Libra thing. So do you know what I did this year? I basically said to my managers and I said to my sister and I said, my birthday's coming up and I don't want to plan anything. Mm-hmm. But if nothing is planned, just know. On the day, uh-huh. I will start crying. Yes. So, if you want to see me cry, that's fine. But if you don't want to see me cry, someone needs to plan something. Something. So everybody pulled up their pants and they planned me a fantastic so... dinner. Fantastic dinner. Um, it was so I wanted it intimate on yeah. purpose. You know, we in, I realized something in this industry, like everyone is your friend. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I kind of realized especially around the time of my show and everything, I kind of realised a lot of people are just there because of who you are and what you could offer them and because it's like the name as opposed to yeah, the yeah, person. Yeah, 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 And especially after the situ- there was a situation that happened when I had to flog some bitch on the internet and I kind of realised that, do you know what, yeah, like there's some, there, there were people who were um, talking about, people that I thought were my friends that mm. were talking about where I live. What? People who were talking about that didn't didn't call me. That I'm I'm quite surprised. Like ah, you didn't even call me to see if I'm okay, but you're watching my story to see what my response is gonna be. Da, 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 da. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, there's a lot of fucking like there's a lot of people that when shit supposedly hits, hits the, the fan, fan, yeah, 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 silence. It silence. But when it's when it's ah, oh, you know, when you're doing ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, Joyce, yeah, Joyce, they're popping up. There's some people that when I was when they were I followed them but they were interacting me like Whoa. and I was like that's so weird because you were uh, up my crack mm-hmm. two weeks ago you were you were licking my pussy literally now you think that something has happened and they're you, you they're not my friends so I said you know what? I want to have an intimate like I'm the type of bitch I will cuss a bitch out yeah and I will get a billboard and then I will get an award Nothing like you. Nothing is very difficult to. I'm. I'm very uncancelable. You can't. Yeah. Everybody thought that. Oh yeah, Joyce. Da, da. I. I will cast a bitch out. Get. Get. Get billboards around London and win an award after. Like that. Oh, that's me. That. Bitch had a bill. What the fuck? Where was those billboards as well? You need to. It wasn't some small, small Brixton. No. Not, no, no, not cast in Brixton, but it weren't no some side road b- billboards. That was big girl shit. Big, oh, I'm so happy that one. So let me tell you something about Spotify. Yeah, first of all, I'm still independent because there was a uh, when I when I went when I did my flow episode, uh-huh. 
somebody said that I was signed to, to Spotify. I'm not signed to Spotify. I'm She's I'm still I'm herself. still independent. Everything is still being pocketed by me. Cop does a takeaway runs on its own and it pays for itself. There's no huh. Um, we don't have any um, investors. We don't have anyone. It is a self-made platform. Amazing. But Spotify are the most phenomenal people I have ever met in my journey. I spoke. I, I have a great relationship with every single person. All, all, all the uh, all the decision makers. Yeah. In Spotify, and they are the, the nicest fucking people you will ever meet. So I spoke to um, head of marketing there, and I was like. Babe, my kink. I want a billboard for my birthday. I said, I want a billboard. And he was like, when's your birthday? I said, it's the end of the month. And I, I just, that's that's how I said it. I was at the Spotify office and that's that's how I said it, just in Blase. So I got an email from, um, I, got a, I got a text from my good sister. And she was like, oh, um, we're going to call him my kink mm-hmm. because you lot, were, you lot started bothering Tom when I tagged him. She's like, oh, um, your kink said, what do you want? Uh, you're, uh, you're having a billboard for your birthday. Where is it? Um, and when is your birthday? Yeah. And that's when I was like, oh, so he actually got me a billboard. Yeah. Then I come to find out that they got me billboards in Leicester Square. Mm. Do you know, if you are not from the UK, type in Leicester Square. Leicester Square is a, is a massive... Uh, that's the city. That's city. That Leicester Square city. London city. Westfield Stratford. <gasps> Westfield, um, White, White, City. White City. So I had Westfield, Stratford, Westfield, Those White City. Those are the three, make, like, what? And there's also one in Wembley Arena as well. Fuck off. So when it, so it went from billboard to billboards. I said my king. My king, I, honestly, they have been so supportive of my journey. I, they, like, you know when people want to see you win? Yeah. Those lot want to see me win, and they 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 literally see me, and they're like, "Listen, we wh- whatever we can help to to boost you, mm-hmm. even if it's emotional support, even if it's um, contacts, even if it's this this this, yeah. they are always always bigging me up. Like big up Spotify every wow, fucking time. Wow, that's amazing. The billboards was a big deal for me. No, that's that a thing? big. It was a big deal. deal. I cried. That's a big deal. I remember going to to the one in Leicester Square and I just watching it on the big view. You and know, I was you just like, have to. And I've always wanted a billboard. I've always like you know, when billboard. you're a little girl, you just walk past these things. You think you, well, I would never really be on that to be now on big big screen like that. Ah, oh, God is good. I was so. I, uh, it, it really was a surreal moment for me. Yeah. So, so surreal. I was so happy, man. But yeah, that was that was what I did. So back to your birthday. I don't even know where we go for that. So <sighs> back to your birthday. I feel like if you're being a lot, if, if you like don't, I, what's the one? What am I even talking about? I hate plan. I don't want to plan things for my birthday, yeah. but I feel like people should care enough for you to plan things for you. Yeah, I think I'm the same. Like, I don't, sometimes I don't want to do nothing, but then at the same time, I know if the moment passes and I don't do anything, I will mm-hmm. still feel some kind of way. And I'm just like, okay, let me just, it's content at the end of the day as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about being around your loved ones, being around? Yeah, that's nice too. But I'm always around my loved ones as well. It's so true. it's just like, I don't know, like, I just, I feel, I, but in the moment, I do love it and I appreciate it. But the moment when I'm not with it, I just don't like the feeling of just the, the birthday the birthday pressure yeah, yeah i think it's birthday blues oh no not birthday blues i know i think apparently after 25 it just yeah i was gonna say bit. i think as you get older just as well and i'm just like sis like slow down the fucking time Man, like can it just go back and also covid stole from me two years two years two solid years you were you turned 25 in covid bitch you i'm asking you you did i it? think i did yeah because then i done my 26 that dinner thing uh-huh. that was literally just as COVID was about to end, that grand dinner. The but fucking ghetto. COVID really stole some years. Thank God, didn't, I think I was like 22, 23 when COVID happened. So they were like shit. They were shit years. Yeah. They weren't, they weren't anything exciting. But, but yeah, they weren't any exciting. No, 23, 24. So they weren't exciting years. Like, oh my God, like yeah, milestone yeah. years, should I call it? Um, But honestly, I am very much, I don't like, I don't like planning things. And then I don't like planning parties. And then when I do, 
I, when I when I don't and nothing happens, I just think everybody hates me and I have no friends. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> like, nah, it's for real. Everybody hates me. I have no friends. No one loves me. What's even the point? So of- what are we doing tomorrow? So tomorrow we're going blank canvas, which is a brunch slash day party. Cool. Just, I just turn up, really. Just we gonna vibes, turn the motherfucking. Music. How what are you turning? Girl, I'm gonna be 28. 28 and cute. 28. You don't give me 28 vibes, you know. 2088. Thank you. 28. Mm-hmm. Um, I know, same. I don't even know, like, I don't feel 28. I feel you do, 28. Definitely don't, you definitely don't give 28. I feel 22. Do you know what? You give me 22. You could be 22. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to say I'm my son You could be, You. I feel like when it gets to a certain age, I'm just going to be 25 again. Like, and again stuck. and again and again. You know and again mean? and again and again. Just let it keep rolling. Again and again and again and again and again, basically. I don't think I'm ever going to just change my ears. <laughs> Right, guys, we are going to move on to our next segment. Can I just also say, now I'm 25. Fucking hell, Bacardi. Stop wasting my time. It's pissing me off. I they haven't... I swear they sent it. No. Oh, Bacardi, man, it. seriously. So okay, that time okay sorry, I didn't mean to shout. I didn't mean to shout. Yeah, act nicely. Please. Nah, I'm at, listen, I'm going to... If, if you're not going to send it... Yeah, Bacardi gonna, gonna, like that, though. I've only... Well, since I first started this show, I've only ever wanted to work with Bacardi. Like... And oh. I, the thing is, oh, let me not say that. That's gonna fuck up my. That's gonna fuck up my bad. Um, yeah, just reverse it because um, when someone else comes in before them, um, I like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we like alcohol per. We like alcohol per. <laughs> every every alcohol. Every alcohol. But we are gonna move on to win or bin. Of course, you already know the vibe. I am gonna give you a topic of conversation, and you're gonna tell me whether it's a win or a bin, and yeah. why. Are you ready? Yeah. So let's get cracking. Mm-hmm. Win or bin. Divorces. Oh, this is an interesting one. It is, isn't it? Just I think when because men switch up on you and then you don't want to be stuck in a situation. I mean, I wish I could bin it. I wish people it was less of. Mm-hmm. I think people should never have to stay in something because they're scared of divorce. Okay. So win. We're going win. Obviously, why this was uh, picked to the top of the conversation because there has been so much going on in the conversation of divorce. First of all, the amount of people have fu- that have divorced in the past week has I been saw. insane. We have uh, Sister Sister star Tia Mari, Mari and actor Corey Hardick. Then we had Miguel and his longtime girlfriend, uh, Nazine. N- what's her name? How do you say this girl's name? Nazanin. Nazanin. And then Love is Blind. Um, Ayana and Jarrett have also divorced this same week. Um, Tom Brady broke up with his uh, wife, Giselle. So wife and husbands have been spitting, uh, splitting up. Also, in terms of the UK, there has been a new legislation that's passed where um, basically the legislation enables couples in England to go through divorce proceedings without appropriating blame. So basically, before you had to get divorced, you had to have there had to be a reason yeah. why. Whether that somebody was cheating, the mm-hmm. big one was cheating. Yeah. So people are like, oh, this person cheated, I want to have a divorce with him. Yeah. So there had to be a legitimate reason as to why you are divorcing. Mm-hmm. Now it's like you can't divorce because of divorce. Mm-hmm. And in that space between April and June, 33,000 divorces have been enabled. I filed for divorce. 30,000 people have filed for divorce since that act have been has been passed. I don't know. I find it. Di- I find it really difficult. Yeah. Would you? Uh, I feel like for I me. I think. Do you know what I think? I think there should be more rules in terms of marriage. Getting yeah, married. Getting married. Rather than all this divorce stuff. Like, if it's harder to get married, I think people will take their time more rather than divorce. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is the thing. Yeah, with, with this is the thing with marriage. Yeah, it's it's. I feel like the government wouldn't make it difficult for people to get married because they make a lot of money, money. from marriages. Yeah, marriages in terms of you have to. You, I think you you have, you have to, to pay tell, to be you married. Have to, yeah, tell the council or something like that. You have to declare. You have to declare it with the government. I think you also have to pay to be married in the UK. I know there's a lot of payments for marriage before you actually get married. Yeah. Um. Also, it's it's beneficial to the uh it's it's beneficial for the government for people to be married um and yeah i just feel like 
in terms of money, money it yeah. works you you can't make it easier because they make money and for and um, making it easier for divorce you make money too because yeah you make like, money you gotta fight for all these things so. yeah, yeah to be divorced it's a it's a very expensive proceeding so you can't just wake up and say sorry i don't want to be with you anymore it's done the ring is on the table it's very no. fucking expensive to be divorced i don't know i have a thing about marriage um obviously i love marriage Mm -hmm. i love the idea of being married i love the fairy tale stuff but i think my issue that's happening now is that people are being very fucking unrealistic when it comes to marriage in terms of in terms of one i feel like i i don't know maybe because of the society the the generation before us where people would get married because to hide shame yeah so for example if a woman was pregnant they would automatically marry them to protect yeah. the the family name also people rushing into marriage especially women because of the age, age. clock that was dawned on us like oh we have to be married by this certain time yeah rushing into marriages i feel like with everything that has happened now we're seeing the result of that we're yeah. seeing the result of people getting married for the wrong reasons people getting married out of impulse people getting married out of um honeymoon season Literally. things like that i do also however feel like there's no more as much as i love and i'm happy that people are um able to it's easier to get out of toxic relationships mm-hmm. abuse yes um mental financial physical abuse emotional, yeah. emotional abuse i also feel like for for the people that are not under that bracket um i feel like it enables people to not to not try. try to not try yeah i feel like yeah there's a lot of with our generation people don't feel like they need to try for love anymore it's like mm, yeah this mm, that is, i don't think them reasons are enough like once you get married you need to till death do us to part, death, yeah girl. like no one are you not forgetting that yeah. line but there's obviously gonna, there's yeah. things that reasons that are warranted but mm-hmm. some things i think did you not even try work through it and did how long try? did you try arguments like i feel like a lot of people come into relationships like this is my way mm-hmm this is your way, you need to tend to my way. I feel like for me, marriage is a dance. Every relationship is a dance. If there's a give and take that mm-hmm. needs to occur. I feel like you can't come into a relationship wrong and strong. Mm-hmm. And I've seen I've seen a lot of that. People come into relationships and they're like, well, no, this is how I want to do it. And mm-hmm. if you don't ad- adhere to how I want to do it, you should, if you love me, you need to do what I need to do. No. Yeah. Like, people i feel like everyone comes into relationships broken everyone comes into a relationship with a priest of them that's not okay yeah. there's nobody in this world is perfect. perfect if you're looking for a perfect partner sorry you'll never find it Mm-mm. because us as people are not perfect us as human beings there's no such thing as perfection do you know what i'm saying yeah so it's a thing where knowing that in your mind you're coming into a relationship saying how can we perfect this relationship not perfect because it, as individuals are broken yeah. what happens when two broken pieces come together you have a new form you have a whole piece yeah how do we become a whole piece not that i'm trying to i'm trying to fit you into my box yeah to, honestly i think marriage well, is a mess it's a fucking for me it's a mess I, I don't i don't plan to get married anytime soon because i feel like it's a stupid for me it's for me it's to the point where it's become a stupid con- social construct yeah why are you get married I feel it, but I do want. I do want. I want to feel that love, like yeah, to I wanna, the point yeah. that I feel like I we need let's get married. But also, I saw this thing online, and I was like, weddings are even just a waste of money. Waste of money. Like you imagine forty k wedding when that could have been on our forty k house. Like I'm deep in it. Honestly, did you see the thing about the girl saying that she only wants gifts as money for her wedding, and people was talking shit? But I thought that was fine because I don't need how many toasters are you gonna honestly? Gift how someone? many kettle? That's fair. I don't feel like this. The, it's one of those things where I don't feel like it's the fact she should have said it. She should have said she's not said it publicly. Like it is it, that it shows a lack of ungratefulness. But I, I see guess. what she means. Yeah, I see what she means. Or she could have been like money or a gift card, for example. Okay. Because yes. how many toasters? How many thing? Like just give me. Just give me the money. Exactly. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Me, I don't think I'd have a big wedding. I feel like it's like, why are you trying to, why would I spend 60 bags on a wedding? Like, that's so stupid. Like, when girls are talking about, there was a girl I saw on Twitter, your man owns, earns 30K a year. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck do you want a 30K ring? And her excuse is like, if he loves me, he'll save up for it. To when? I used to be that. To his death. Know. I is it that he's gonna you sell his kidney to buy you ring? That like, ring you that will just flims off one time, like really. 
I wouldn't even feel comfortable walking around every day with a 30k with ring. With a 30k ring, just so you can go to your friends at dinner. Oh yeah, he's he has a 30k ring. Okay, but what if he's, he's cheating on you? Is is it that you're gonna use the, the 30k? To, the 30k to go and wipe your tears. You now use it to wipe your tears. <laughs> as in, maybe maybe the 30k ring will turn into a new husband. Maybe <laughs> when maybe he asks for it back, would you give it back? N- no, the fuck. Really? I wouldn't give the ring back. I'll go and sell it. It's true. It's my property. It's now. my property. How could you? You're a waste man. Why would you? Why would you even ask me for the ring back? You gave it to me as under in, oath, as in as a wedding gift. You now want me to take it? You want to take it back? Are you dumb? Don't be broke. Just, don't be poor. <laughs> I said it. Don't be poor. Yeah, no, I definitely want. You take it. You'd give it back. It. Do you know what? Out of pride, the fact that do you know what? No, actually, even pride. There's no pride. I've been married to you. The, no, I'll trust me. The there's ring. no marriage to you. Sorry. No, I'm it's keeping my ring. ring. Yeah, I've been wearing it. What are you gonna do? Put it on your on your ring, sir. On your, on your, on your, on your pinky. Fi- on your finger, pinky finger. You're gonna give it to your new bitch. Which one? Embarrassing. Which one? No, I won't give it back. Yes. Yeah, Why am I giving it back? No. Don't, don't be disgraceful. But honestly, for me, yeah, I feel like this generation. This is what I have to say. I love marriage. I want people to be married, and I want people to be in wholesome families. Yeah. That's that's one thing. I I really do believe. I really do want to have. I believe in the traditional social marriage union union of having two parents and their children honestly i read somewhere and it's quite concerning but i feel like it's a different conversation sexual no child abuse increases by 80 percent when the child comes from a broken um broken or mixed home wow yeah you hear the stories people that have remarried to other people the stepfather becomes the stepdaughters you hear it you hear it obviously not to say that there are not some animals that trigger warning excuse me trigger warning that don't fond their own children but Mm. it increases a lot more Mm. when the family is mixed and that doesn't that doesn't mean that it happens in all families but i feel like for me i just i just want there to be a a a home where there's two parents, men or woman, man or man, woman or man, whether the structure, but two formulated parents yeah. and the children. I, I love it. that. I raise yeah, them together. That's, that's what that's I my, That's my that's main my concern. That's my personal preference. That's my personal preference. That's my main concern. But I feel like now, people need to be a lot more wary with the people that they are marrying. marrying. Adiola, hear this. Imagine we got into business together and I'm like, sister, I want you to give me 200k Mm -hmm. there's a sick business deal sick business deal and the yield if it goes well is going to be phenomenal Mm life-changing but there's a 60 percent chance that it's not going to work out 60 percent are you going to put the money down i'd have to have that money like like if i already lost it i'm calm it is literally do or die uh, no, nah, I'd have to have that money. Like, I'm, I, sh- I have to be happy to lose that money, first of all. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Okay. 60% of marriages in the UK do fail in the first three years. Marriage is scary, you know. That's the problem. People people are not realistic. Yeah, like, it's scary. You're deep in it, and then it's just Please. the rest of my life. The rest of your life. The rest of your life, guys. Oh, the rest wow. of your life. It's I just, can't imagine myself. I can't even imagine it, you know. It's, it's scary. Please. It's nice to say, oh, my husband, my husband. Mm. Though I have a friend who is very, who's, um, I have a friend who is very vocal on the internet. And her friend was married at the time. Mm-hmm. I remember we went to the wedding. Um, we were there at the wedding, and um, her friend was married at the time. And um, she's very vocal about like, oh, you know, men, da 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 da, da mm-hmm. anti men, all men are trash, all men cheat, da 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 da. And I remember Snapchat one day. I saw her indirecting, oh, it's so childish and immature that men to say all men cheat just because you haven't found a good man. Do you know? that that husband was messaging my friend on a dating app saying, oh, let's meet up. 
you know, I'm single. I've even, not even just denying the marriage, the even children, even deny them. I don't have children. No, I'm just single. <gasps> I'm working in and out. Da, 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 da. Ask me now, after, I think their marriage maybe lasted five, six years. Wow. Divorced with three children. You actually can't be talking on anyone's like marriage and all of this you know it's not that she was talking directly at their marriage yeah 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 she was just saying it generally but she my husband my husband you know there's always yeah, my husband there's my husband my husband my husband my husband, my husband. and the thing is all the uncles that we see in pair one they're not married yeah um, for what day all the uncles all the men that we're always laughing rich nigga eight figures that's my type you don't know these rich niggas eight figures are all married right yeah that they'll be married on one week side girl second week Side uh, wife. <laughs> Some people are happy like that. Stay there. We talk about we want a rich guy. Oh yeah, we want a baller. We want a hustler. You know the ballers are all married, right? <sighs> I want a single baller. All, all the oh yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I don't. I'm gonna finesse that. You know they're all married, right? Girls, let's let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. The guys that were like, yeah, we're gonna spend money. I'm not gonna. I don't even want a guy with money anymore. No, God. Yeah, actually, same. No, seriously. I mean, God. Um, I don't want to block my, my blessing. But I'm just but talking it's not about my... the girls. When we're talking about city girls, yeah. first, when we're talking about, oh yeah, I date a guy that's fifty years old. That I just want to be a sugar baby. You know, they're all they're married. married to women, or maybe because it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like that because you don't know the wife. Yeah, that's why. But yeah. oh yeah. You're so good. the wife, the wife is at home thinking that Hi. my baby, my baby, let me pound pound their jam, and he's spending the money, money on you, for taking like you to rubbish, dinner, bank. so you can snap to shard, so you can snap in this Bentley, so you can snap, and his wife is at home cooking. But then you want to sit here and tell me, oh Joyce, don't be negative, then uh, leave it. Yeah, I man. don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because you like be realistic. I know, man. This it, the whole scene, the whole, everything about dating, marriage, men. It's just it gives me like anxiety. The GBs, yeah, it does same. Like when I really deep and I apply it to my life, I just think God when, but God can I even? Heebie-jeebies. It gives me heebie-jeebies. It gives me heebie-jeebies. And I've seen girls, and some girls don't. Guess what? Some girls don't care. There will, a guy will say, I'm married, I'm married. They will see it as, oh. It will even see it as a competition. Mm -hmm. What, you think that because you're married, I won't I get you. I hate girls like that. I hate them. I can't think stand them. Married, they won't get you. Like, trust me, there's some girls here that they they they, they want to see if they can get a married mm -hmm. man in their bed. Just, just to so they say, say they did it. Like, yeah. Or what you thought that you were... You were, mm -hmm. what's the word? You thought that you were, you were challenged. And you know the girls that'll be the first to say it in an argument. Yeah, but I stand on your man's face. Yeah, just to say that. And especially when you're a big girl, oh. uh, and not just big girl as in influencer. Let's just say if, you are, if you're top in your field. Anything. Just in anything. Banking, baby, your boss mm -hmm. girl. And they see that you have a, they, they want to let, they want to, they want to one up you. Literally. And they'll say, ah, my man. Yeah, they'll try to go for your man. They'll be like, yeah, you see that doctor, that girl that's a doctor, yeah, that's walking her around, man. that's walking around like she's all that okay. just because mm -hmm. she got her eight years of it, eight years of uni. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I fucked her man. Yeah, that's it. Finished. What's eight years of uni when somebody fucks your man? It's finished. Uh, <laughs> what would? What's what? It? You, how do you like? Obviously, we've how do you go back from that? Like, how do you react to in the that disgrace? Situation? The disgrace. No, I'm just, this is why I cannot because like, I don't want to like embarrass myself, but it's stuff like that can make me end up embarrassing myself. Ha, 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 ha. And no one could even talk shit to me because the emotions, no, the emo no. I, I wish I could carry myself gracefully and I always pray. Mm -mm. But I don't think I'm a graceful person. No, keep it real. We heard. Listen, I, and that's and that's okay. We're normal human beings. Let's not. Uh, I don't want to do percent bitch to y'all. Now I'm ratchet. I'll cast a bitch when I need to. But I listen. Will, uh, don't let. Me, I tell y'all. I tell y'all. Don't try play me. Cause the thing is, and you know when girls are like, oh, but you should be chatting to your man. I know, but it's the energy that you're coming with to be spiteful and be yeah. Try to come bring me down. That's why I'm coming for you, bitch. Yeah. Not because I should be like, yeah. He'll get dealt with too, but you too. Hold on, sister. When there's a hurricane, when Hurricane Sandra uh -huh. came on the streets, the sun was Sandra selective ah, this, of the homes because this that one is she a good was person. penetrating. When the hurricane comes, everybody can get it. If you're in the eye of the hurricane, 
Everyone is getting it. You, your mom, your, your dad, dad, my your man, dog. his man, his dog, everybody. His, his do- everyone. What do you mean? Why did I don't listen? If you unleash a hurricane, every it doesn't matter. Collateral damage, Collateral damage, babe. That's it. Finished. Thank you. That's it. Finished. So yeah, I am for marriage. Don't let me get twisted. I w- I want to be married. Mm-hmm. I want, but please, ladies, let's give the that. Let let let's not rush into our decisions. Mm-hmm. Let's not do things because of pressure. pressure. That's the key one. It's better to leave now that you're not married. And that's the honest truth. I feel like you you have less of a choice when you're in a marriage. Yeah. For me. It's harder. It's harder because marriage is not just ring on my finger party. It's a legally binding document. Yeah. Adele that got divorced. Her husband that was sitting down <laughs> took half of everything she works for capuch it's a big that's even a bigger pressure bigger embarrassment than the one that you're thinking of you're thinking of just them um, emotional listen so use the time now to be picky fussy fl- i don't give a fuck if it's four years five years if he's not if the ring is not on the finger yet there's still time to escape yeah but please when you make that decision to be married make sure it's one that you decide with all your heart and again this is not for people who are going through um, emotional... Dom- Seriously, if you're going through any emotional do- domestic or anything, just leave that fucking... I don't yeah. know why you're stupid. Don't be stupid. Leave that fucking shit. You deserve more. But if it's just... If if you're in a marriage and it's just like arguments and that, I feel like you, you can still try and work it out. Try, Therapy, yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And if, if it classes. really... Classes. Little things. Maybe, maybe even a break. Yeah. Maybe even time apart. Mm-hmm. A retreat. A retreat. Even even a month moving away. Just a separation. Literally. I, I, I believe in separation. Yeah. Separation is okay. But the divorce... Fam, that's the, final, you know. Because you know when we divorce, what we're going to get back together again. But yeah, later. Not going to lie. That's what um, Nini Link's done to, to Greg. Remember they divorced and got back together. That one is all just all long. And then they divorced again. Or they separated before he passed away, but yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say divorce. Um, Bin, I want people to be happy, man. I really do. But I want you to be. Um, I want them to be happy intellectually. Literally, I want them to be happy intellectually and emotionally. Uh, as and well. emotionally, big man thing. Big up all the marriage, marriage, the people in marriage. I don't feel like I'm anti-marriage. I'm not. I'm just pro inter- intellect. Good marriage. Good marriage. Yes. Okay. We are going to move on to our next win or bin conversation. So, win or bin, having multiple hustles. Okay. So, pe- yeah, you know the vibe. People that do all this entrepreneurial stuff, they'll have you know this person, this but per- this thing, this thing, this person, mm-hmm. this, 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 this thing. Talk to me. Win, win, win. Have you seen Kim Kardashian? How many businesses? How many things does she do? That's true. That's true. She even now does a podcast, law podcast. Yes, Spotify gave her a podcast. Like, can we t- this girl? Spotify, y'all, y'all better. Like, y'all get Kim's podcast. <laughs> she, I ain't mad. No, but she doesn't rest, and it just goes to show, like, she is she a millionaire? Yeah, she a billionaire. She's a billionaire. She's a billionaire. Her first makeup line, KKW Beauty, made her a billionaire. Babe, she has a uh, KKW w Beauty Skims. Skims. She done. She now has this house one. Yes, the uh, uh, uh is it house interior, accessories? accessories yeah, podcasting. She, she's an influencer. So influencer. She'll be doing her ads here and there. I'm for it. Kim Kardashian is a great example of when you get to a certain level, Mm -hmm. you can have as many businesses as possible. And even though she's the face of it, she might not be the one that's like heavily focused, um, heavily involved. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, somebody can be the face of a business, but like there are like four or five other CEOs or COOs that are running the operational size, but you're just the face. I think for me, it depends if it makes sense yeah it depends what about what about somebody that like you know has a 9 to 5 for example mm-hmm. like for obviously KKW cool somebody has a 9 to 5 mm-hmm. would you would you still are you still pro having multiple side hustles yeah I don't think I just feel like it depends the kind of life you want though as well mm-hmm. because if you want a certain kind of life I don't think you can actually just live off one income Good, uh, agreed agreed you, Agreed. You cannot like it's just even the people that they t- say their stories and they're at their top, they all have multiple streams of income. Like it's if true. you want to get to a certain level, it's looking like that's the only way. I think my concern in this is uh, being a jack of all trades. 
Mm, I guess, I mean, it depends though, because you can have your side hustle, which is like, that is what you're good at. Mm -hmm. But then you can have your passion, make money off your passion, which then can have umbrellas. Yeah, agreed. I am for having side hustles, but I'm also for perfecting a craft. Mm -hmm. Like, I fuck with the girlies right now. I, but I, 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 I'm a bit taken aback when somebody is hairstylist, nail stylist, makeup artist. I hear that. Like when you have like when 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 I'm seeing on your bio you got bare strokes. It's like you can't be fantastic everything. about with everything. For or you can have a salon, for example, that you can employ people. But I feel like for me, having one perfect trade mm -hmm. is really important. Yeah. I would rather someone that has one perfect trade and can perform at 90% capacity than having five different businesses and only be 60% good at all of yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't feel like you could be you could be good at everything everything at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you've been in the game for a while, let's just say you started with hairstyle and you've been doing it for for six, seven, eight years mm -hmm. and then maybe you wanted to cross over into something else like makeup maybe but i just feel like just mm, i feel like I it has know. to make sense I, like to like it does, what you've already you do, been yeah. doing like if you're doing makeup and then all of a sudden you're now fashion designer and then now from fashion designer you're now um i don't know just it's all no off. artists it's all art yeah like for, sorry that's that's even a wrong example but let's just say like you are a wig maker for mm -hmm. example and like after a while you want to you've done wig you do the wig you're, you're the wig queen mm -hmm. and let's just say like you know you want to learn a do new skill and you just have to do tapings you know the tapings are yeah, getting yeah, popular yeah, yeah. now something like that I could be like okay cool. yeah it makes because sense in those type of fields you, you're constantly advancing your skills yeah. and stuff like that if you're a nail tech maybe that you want to start focusing on more pedicure more experiences yeah. or more you know maybe get into pediatrician pedia is it what's the one that do the feet the feet yeah pedia something do you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. But when you're doing slash, 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 it's just a lot. And that's just how can you focus on one thing and perfect that one? Everything is taking little bits of your energy. I have a question. Go on. Do you have a hobby? Do you know what? I think about it the other day. I don't think I do. I don't have a hobby. I don't have a And I feel like people make it think that you need to have a My hobby is resting when I can. <laughs> Watching <laughs> shows. I like to watch shows. Is that a hobby? Because some people can't watch shows, you know. I can't. I've got an awful attention span. Is it? I've got ADHD, so I. Like I left my hobbies in secondary school. I don't know. I actually thought about this because if I'm not working, I am not doing anything. I don't yeah. have. I, I recently joined a comedy class. Yes, guys, I've started the comedy class. Everybody knows I was a comedy. I was like, I don't do anything just for fun. Mm -hmm. Like, once I work, if I don't have to leave my house, mm -hmm. I really struggle to leave. Same to do anything and I'm like even gym even common gym oh, okay I do like the gym no I don't that fam even common gym like I tried to start it I pay 50 fucking pound a month oh. and it's just there I feel, I don't think I've been one yeah I feel like you do need to have something else that out of work that you yeah just... but I think the problem with this generation is that they've everyone's trying like everyone's trying to monetize their hobbies yeah everyone's trying to make money off things that should just lie. be done I can't imagine just paying for a class just because of vibes I'll be thinking okay so how is this going to bring me a return but sometimes <laughs> the return oh, doesn't I. need to be money money it doesn't it could be mental health it yeah. could be a new skill like I just wanted to learn a new skill I don't want to do stand up at all <laughs> I could not see myself doing stand up what kind of things do you do in the class I, listen girl I just started I was supposed to go today but I didn't go because I was filming oh. <laughs> I, I called them to say sorry I can't, I can't make Saturdays it. I'm never I'm never filming on Saturdays usually but because of guap it's oh, today yeah, but we have to it. I guess they, te they teach you skills like um, writing oh, delivery wow. timing it was like drama but yeah. dra comedy is very heavy on uh, dramatic techniques and acting and things like yeah. that which I, which I love so I was yeah. like I want to do something like on a Saturday, because I usually, I hate the weekends, because it's, that? I'm just existing. Not yeah. that I have any shows anyway to watch, or I watch a Bad Boys Club or something like that, but I've even finished that. Yeah. But I was like, I don't have hobbies. And I thought like, am I, am I, going, am I crazy that I don't have a hobby? Because you know, man, them though, in their spare time, they can play football, football. they'll play basketball, they'll yeah. do this, this, this. But I was like, I don't actually have one. Yeah. I feel that, you know, I might even think about doing something myself. Guys, just... I think we should all get hobbies. Yeah. Seriously. Like, I think we should do something fun just because. Just because there's no like hidden yeah. way of trying to monetize Learn a new it. skill. Yeah. 
candle making, do something do fun. Because yeah. I realised I was like, thinking, fucking hell, like, if I'm not working, I'm just exhausted. What else is there to look forward to? I think this is why I do so much with my content stuff, because it's just yeah, like, it what gives else me there to something do? else to be planning and be thinking of. I'm yeah, that's like, sitting down and looking. Just melting. But then you just, you just crash and burn at the end of the day. Literally. You just and you just you just crash and burn at the end of the day, like and I just was like, girl, I cannot. So yeah, I started a class. I think we should all I co-sign everyone. Maybe like a pole dancing class. Ooh, I've always wanted like to that. actually do that. We should do it. I'm dance down. class. I want to do a dance class. I wanted to do a dance class, but I was super shy. Like, I, I've always funny enough, yeah. I tweeted this. I want to start those um, you know, the heel high heel high dancing heels classes. One. <sighs> Same. the sexy one where you're doing I think I have to do it without heels first because me I can't even do it without the heels but there's some heels that are like super comfortable, comfortable. like oh, wedges okay. the, yeah because I want to be able to just even I think we should do dancing. it I think I, I want to the heel class intrigues me a lot yeah I was like my fat ass and my thighs jiggling I just, it was just killing me but I was like I want to do it I would want to do pole dancing as well. I, just I think find we should it do so it. beautiful when they're on the pole and they can do all these. We're definitely not going to look like that in the first like I know. first week, but I feel like if we put the dedication towards it, yeah, and that'd be so amazing to watch yourself grow in progress. That. Yeah, just be good at it, like just because not that we're going to be ended up being strippers. I mean, no. I mean, in this econ- economic crisis, it could happen. You know, <sighs> and uh, you still have that one in cost your of living. <laughs> Trust me, cost of living. Just in case you go quick Saturday night, go to the strip club. Do you know what I mean? And make some coins for the electricity. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but no, I would, I'm going to look for a dance class to sign up to. You know, I want it. I send swear me some to God. I want classes. it. Yeah, send us a girl to dance classes. Pole dancing or the high heel, um, the high heel leg one. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm co-signing... Um, hobbies. I'm, I'm co-signing hobbies. I'm also co-signing multiple hustles, but don't be a jack of all trades, in my honest opinion. Mm-hmm. Or if you want to be involved... Like, Kim Kardashian is a perfect example of... She does multiple things, but she doesn't run every fucking single business. Mm. She... It, she might be the face of something, but only earn like have thirty percent of the business. Yeah. But thirty percent of the business of a billion dollar company, and is also, good for me. I think Kim Kardashian really knows how to make everything on brand for mm-hmm. her look. Like it's yeah. like when she when she adds her touch to it, it's like it's I fitting. See why it's Kim K's own? It's fitting. Yeah, very fitting. It's like, very fitting. She's to never her. done something that doesn't really make sense. Exactly that. So. Exactly that. No, everything is fitting. Kim Kardashian is a. Is is a perfect example. You know, um, the her mom Chris Jenner has done this um mastermind class where she teaches personal branding. Oh yeah. Did you get it? <laughs> Did I buy it? Did you have it? Do you have it? No. Uh, I'm looking for one of those dodgy people that would do it for like fifty pound. What? Because you want to see the tea she's spilling. Of course, Chris Jenner. You, Chris I can Jenner, never shit on her. I, I would. I do want to know. Like I would want. I'll be interested. I I'll can't be lie. interested to know. Everyone's talking about dinner with Jay Z. Sorry, you're not. Do you know what Chris, Chris, Chris Jenner. Jenner? She's already made plans for all those grandkids. You don't know. Dinner with Chris Jenner, please and thank you. Fuck Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z. What? Which personal? J- P- P- I love Jay Z. Mm-hmm. But Jay Z represents a certain time period. Mm-hmm. What? Do you know it's what I'm true, saying? Yeah. His skill worked in a certain time. When it comes to the so, we're, we're moving in a social media digital age. Yeah. Chris Jenner. Yeah, she's all of them making the right moves. When it comes to personal branding, which is where all the brands are moving to, all the artists are moving to, social media marketing, moving from traditional marketing to digital, Chris Jenner. But they won't say that because she's a woman. Yeah, and it's the Kardashians. I feel like people. And it's the Kardashians. They don't respect her. Yeah. They don't res- they don't respect them. Anyways, I every I don't care. I'm pro I'm pro Kardashians because some of you are such are naked for free and you didn't get what they got for it. Hold it. I don't have anything to say. All right, let's move on to the next win or bin. We have got win or bin. Meeting your partner's parents. Win. At at a certain stage, though, because you need to know: are they witches? Who are your family, and who am I gonna marry into? Because some people's parents are just—I don't think I could marry into like a family that I don't like. Yeah, I agree. I couldn't. Uh -uh. I couldn't. It's not my piece. If they're, I mean, if they're heavily involved, yeah. In the sun, like, there's some there's some family that's they're crazy, but they're strange. From yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like, yeah, my mom is a psycho, but she over there. Literally, like she's like I keep her. But if it's what it says, oh my son, oh my baby, oh. for me, like, your mom is a fucking crazy bitch. Um, 
You better uh-uh. stay over I there. I ain't trying to fight between you and your mum for love and For love, no. Please. Have you ever met Have you ever met anyone's um, mothers? Mothers? Um, yeah, I met one. How yeah. did that go? Was she nice? I thought she was all right, but uh, I think she could have been better in terms of like, I don't think she was very... Oh, I don't even want to be rude, but I don't feel like she was. <laughs> I don't feel like she was trying to get to know me. I feel like whenever it benefited her son, that's when she'll call my phone. Okay, but it's not like you're really checking for my well being. But when your son was being a bastard, you, you wasn't. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I hear it. But hear tell it. your son off and tell me that you've told your son off. But not that you defend your son for whatever. As however, in, yeah, I exactly. hear it. I hear it. I don't. I've met. I've met one boy's parent and it was awful. How? No, it was awful. Like, I don't think it was, she was cool. She wasn't, she wasn't problematic or anything. She was cool. Um, she did tell me off though because I spent too much time at his house. I was like, why is she always spending? Why is she always oh, coming? Oh, is Nigerian? Yeah. yeah, why is yeah. she always coming? Yeah. You can't. She shouldn't come here all the time. She shouldn't come sometimes. Yeah. Like, and then yeah. since then, I just was kind of like, okay, fuck him up. <laughs> but then, I don't think I've ever met anyone's mum after that. Same, I've not met anyone's mum no, at my only big girl age. At my big girl age, yeah, agreed, agreed. I don't know, I feel like if it, at this age, if I was to meet your mum, that it's means we're going to so, be married. It's, no, it's too official now. It's too official. You're like, whoa. Hold on now. Hold Wait on. Wait a minute. You better stop right there. Like, no, nah, I need to yeah, think it's about a lot. it. I need, to think, I need to think about what we're doing here. Yeah. Am I even trying to go there? Like, Exactly. But there's sometimes, there's some people, some people, especially, no, what was I say some guys meeting the parent is it's nothing. It's a calm thing. It's a yeah. calm thing. It's not a thing like that. That will put me off. Like nah. I think you need to just suss it out because it's like, how many of your bitches has your mom met? Yeah. Like, there's some people that will just be showing their mom willy nilly. Up and down. Like she's a rag. Oh yeah, this is my mom. This is my mom. Mm-hmm. This is my mom. Like bear girl know your mom. Like on the tenth bear girl, one for the year. Like trust me, bear girl calling your mom auntie. auntie. Like please, please it's mind them like that. Choke, bruv. Choke. I feel like if anyone, anyone that meets someone's parent, it should be like an your official, official official thing or becoming official. Not that yeah. you'll just be showing people that your your mom or dad willy nilly. And this goes for do- girls as well. Don't be showing your mom and dad willy nilly yeah, to these people. No these way. And I just think you don't even rate your parents then if you're doing that. Trust. Trust. You don't rate them. You don't rate them. You don't rate them at all. If you're sh- if you're trying to introduce your mom to every boy that that you fancy then you don't rate her time Mm-mm. you don't rate her time your mom and i'm sure your mom now thinks she's your hoe uh <laughs> and i won't even rate people's parents like your parents should even say to me like if i met a guy mm-hmm. and he taught me to his mother and i'm like maybe the ninth of the year i would want mm-hmm. her to tell like disgrace her son in front of me like uh, like give me that energy like, yeah she doesn't have time for me kind of energy exactly don't be welcoming me because even then you two you two are on crack on crack <laughs> <laughs> you're on crack i swear to god i swear to god okay i'm saying i'm saying win if in the right settings yeah i'm sure. saying winning i'm saying winning the right settings hot topics of the week baby okay we are going to move on to hot topics of the week of course it has been a chaotic week and we are going to start with of course our hot new releases so we have the woman is king oh is it the woman is king or the woman, woman king? king it's woman king yeah that's the type of right so we have the woman king that just came out with uh john boyega uh viola davis um bare other people them that me can't remember their name mm-hmm. you see it but honestly, Black Excellent, obviously, that came out two days ago. I believe it's on the fourth, two days ago. Yeah. You went to the screening. Oh, I didn't go to the screening. You didn't? Know. I haven't watched it yet. But I've just been seeing really good reviews. Was it you that said you cried? Girl, I do not cry. <laughs> oh, it must be someone else's story. Was it like sad or something? Is there something it was to cry very, about? Yeah, there was, it was very powerful. I went to the premiere. I went to the premiere with TikTok. Big up TikTok. Um, I did a red carpet for that, which was amazing. The cast was there. I saw my mother, Viola Davis, oh, in the flesh. The queen. For, the queen. I nearly fucking passed out. Did she talk I was to like, her? no, because she didn't come to the after party. Oh, she didn't come okay. to the after party. Um, John Boyega was at the after party, spoke to him like on a high briefly, but I was so shy. Don't you get scared to meet these people that you actually like in case they give you the wrong energy? Nah. Yeah, 
I'm just shy anyways. I'm like very, because you know, this industry is like, I don't want anyone to call me a beg. Yeah. I don't want to call me a beg in it. Even though I really love your stuff, I don't want yeah. you to call me a fucking beg. I hear it. Can I just say, I met somebody's dad. So I was at the after party. So Woman is King is finished. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal movie. Guys, please check it out. The only thing I would say is the accents were a bit all over in it. It was supposed to be based in Nigeria, <laughs> but the accents were Zimbabwe, California, this and wow. that. But aside from that, fantastic movie. Violet Davis did amazing. I saw the process of um, what they did to get in shape mm-hmm. for the, sh- wow. the the film. The women did incredible. It was really, really, really good. And it was, of course, based on a true story and a true tribe in nigeria yeah wow. so honestly a part of history you learn I'm, i need to watch that it's, it's, it was really really good so there was then a private after party at one of the soho houses obviously i've gone in and my you know one thing about me i i can look bougie mm. but you could take the girl out the hood, but you can never take the hood out of the girl. Okay. So you already know what it is. I come into the scene and I'm like, yeah, we have the after party. And then there was a guy and someone said, I recognize your voice. <laughs> he said, he said, no, he said, I recognize their voice. And I looked at him and I said, sir, we have never met before, okay? And he was like, no, my daughter watches you. My daughter wow. watches you. He's like, yeah, um, you're, you're Madam Joyce. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, no, my daughter is absolutely in love with you. Wow. He was one of the managers for one of the cast of the movie. So he was one of the main, wow. and he, comes, he lives in LA. So sister girl that has the manager daddy, I sent you a video, but also I want to just give a special love to you. You know, I get so gassed when I hear internet yeah, people from afar. International. And it's so weird. And you know what? That's how I know he's a good dad because how he said he didn't rec- he didn't recognize my face. Yeah. He heard my voice. Wow, she's really He said, to wait, you. no, I've heard I've heard, hold on now. I heard that voice. And like, that one, I like, okay, cool. So when she's watching me, wherever she is, you're out. Yeah. You listen to that shit. You taking that you're in. You're taking it in on a consistent on a cons- you basis. You must be because it's, to recognize someone's voice mm-hmm. is very different from recognizing when someone's face. When you're not face. a singer. When, you're, when I'm not a singer, I'm just this big space pack on the internet. <laughs> so my good sister, sister girl's living in Paris right now. We, we baguette. I love you and I appreciate wow. you, but honestly, your dad is the coolest guy. Like, what, what a gentleman, what a sick guy, That's man. Amazing. Cool. And he's and doing incredible things. But yes, we went to Dean Street. We and we, like sometimes when don't, you know, have you ever? You, let me stop stuttering. Have you ever been to some rooms there? You're thinking about your life. You're thinking, wow, I really started in the gutter. Ah, and you're looking around and you're seeing people. People. It's just like, oh, we'll see, wow, wow, who daddy? You're just looking around, thinking, wow. Like, I'm really in this room. I'm really in this room right now. And they know me. Yeah. And I know them. And they know me. And they know me again. And we're talking. And we're even coding, drink. drinking together. So, yeah, I love your content. Yeah, I love your movies. Yeah. Bro. Like, how did we get here? How did we get here? And you're thinking, ah. You're thinking, oh, my. Me and my head are thinking, ah, I just oh, the- hope my wig is not lifting. Oh, is it? I think, oh, I wonder what. All the things that I've said, what one have you come across? Trust me. Oh, what? Trust me. Is it that? <laughs> oh my God. Do you ever think that? You know, when someone says, I've watched your content, you're thinking, oh, <sighs> like, what, which, which, which one? one? <laughs> which one? What did I see? Don't. Uh. Oh, I see, but I can't watch none of my content back. I don't even listen to myself. Do you know what? Thank God my memory is shit. There's some people that tell me I said this. I said, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I don't remember saying it. Like, been and gone. I remember when I, when I first met Tom and um, he watched my episode with Mimi. Tom is the manager director of Spotify. Yeah. And um, he was like, oh, I watched your episode with Mimi. You guys are well funny. And I was like, what did I talk about in the first five conver- minutes of that conversation? Oh yeah, do you love, oh, I love period sex in it. Be- and I was like, oh no, he watched that. He definitely watched that. He definitely watched. You know, sometimes you sit and you're just thinking, ah. I really said, like, sometimes I just, can't I keep this mouth shut? I want to be a mysterious girl so bad. So bad. I want to be. I want to be Thames, but the lips is too big. Flat, 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 flat. Just be talking anyhow, like. And you know when oh. you do it like this, you forget there's actually people listening. Anybody could be listening. I want to be a mysterious girl so bad. It's not in our blood, babe. I my mouth is too big too to be a mysterious big. girl. 
like you know terms like where it's like an ambiguous but beautiful but mm-hmm. it's like i need to know more about i don't know enough about you i need to know you more. Like? like what do you like where do you go where do you go me that people would be to say joyce i know you like kinder bueno chocolates <laughs> like ah uh, fuck fuck yeah fuck, man fuck but some girls, yeah, that's just their bag in it. Our bag is talking. But you know what it is, yeah. I I feel like I love the way we have just before, but don't you think people I, I don't mind over familiarity, but I don't like it when it becomes disrespectful. Oh babe, don't ever get it confused because like I know that this is what I do and I'm nice, but but I can be booed. Don't try disrespect. I hate that. Like, and I hate when people think because you do this, it means that I must always be nice a hundred percent of the time. No, babe. One thing about me, and this is why, this is why uh, jobs like mine are very important. Jobs like yours are very important because we've gone out the days where we're just, the, you know, we we love the fashion girls. The fashion are doing amazing. I want you to know, we are real ass bitches. Babe. Okay. You're, you're not going to put me in a hierarchy here because of my influence. Because I want you to know now, if you try me, I grew up in North London. Mm. I was raised in North London before I moved to Luton. I will cast your blood clots. Babe. Don't get it twisted. Don't put me on a pedestal, please. I'm hood. Don't put me on a head pedestal. I'm not above to, I'm not above cussing. Babe. I am not too high to flog somebody. Babe. You bet know that Respect. today. Respect. Respect my team. Respect it. Oh, and I, I hate when people think they can just at me anyhow. Like, don't. You will get cast. <sighs> These times I don't even look because sometimes if I see something, I just. I am not above. There's sometimes I'm just like. <sighs> But I want people to know now I'm not about cussing someone. Oh yeah. my god! Guess what? I'm gonna cuss somebody out and I'm gonna be on board next week. That's how we <laughs> gonna do things. That's gonna be a new line for both. I'm next gonna cuss someone out and I'm gonna get a billboard, and then I'm gonna win an award the week after. after. That's how we do things. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, big perk. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I want you to know, I'm a hood bitch, yo. Don't get it confused. Babe. I'm, but I'm real. It's the real life. It is. It's and real life. The thing is as well, I don't ever even remember being coming across bare nice online. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm not. Where did you, you, where did you see where that? Where did you see that? Like, I'm just, you think I'm funny and sometimes I can be rude. It's part of my personality. Please. I don't so, just, I don't, listen, if you cough at me, I'll, fl- I'll flog you. Just, everyone stay in their lanes nicely, like. Listen, cuss a bitch out, get a bill board. Cuss a bitch out, get a bill board. Cuss a bitch out, get a bill board. Cuss a bitch out. Listen. I don't know all the next Listen, don't worry, we'll add that. Um, Adela's really lo- launching her rap career, so we're going to put it Oh, go. <laughs> Big purr. Big purr. I mean, if I feel like how yeah. will, bitch. And now, yeah, guess what? It's going to be a feature. Me. Her. I'm going to feature on it. Don't get it twisted. Love All right, bit. cool. What we even talked about? Woman King. Yeah, Woman oh, King was yes. amazing. Yes. <laughs> black excellence, yes. <laughs> the, the, black, the black excellence. Right, back to reality. Right, yes. No. Let's go back to classy and bougie. Back right. Yeah. Beautiful scenes. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow. I was absolutely flabbergasted and dumbfounded by the cinematic experience that I had when I was watching the likes of John Boyega oh. and Viola Davis oh. in action. Oh. HD Live O at Odeon Cinema in Leicester Square. I was taken aback and I was so enthusiastic about just being around the black community and the support oh. that came out. Um, black excellence indeed, I had a good time. So I am going to give this movie a solid nine out of Ooh, 10. Oh, that is a very strong review there. Thank I you. cannot wait to have my turn to experience yes. what you have just unfolded to me. And um, by yes. the looks of it, I think we should all get our up. Uh, but over and watch that as soon Excuse as possible. Me, it's not, but I, I, I prefer to use the term um, buttocks. Buttocks. Yes. Sorry, my bad. I just have it a bit too many. Too, yes. Too many, too many wines. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. We've got to uh, put our respectable hats back on. Absolutely. Because um, we're influencers. So, influencers. Um, we are respectable, respectable ladies. Influencers, yes. ladies. We don't. Um, do disrespect women and then get billboards the next week. No, Perfect. that's yeah, not absolutely no. Not. And yeah. then yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> I am so done. 
That's how they want us to be, though. Get the fuck out of here, man. Go to hell. Go to hell. Let's move on, guys. Hot new releases. Organize. Every other day, I organize. Is this Asake? Is that how you say Asake? The thing is, that is how it's pronounced. Asake. My sister's called that in the spot, but she this Asake. So is this... But I don't know. I think I think he says Asake, but I I do believe that it's actually pronounced Ashake. Ashake. Like the actual I don't like his a stage name, isn't it? Oh. So okay. it could be that he calls himself Asake. Asake. Yes. But my sister has that name with the same spelling. Mm-hmm. And it's pronounced Ashake. Is it? Yeah. Very strange. Very strange. Okay. Very strange, but yeah, Asake, Asake, Asake is coming Asake. to the UK as well. People sometimes Asake is coming to the UK. Obviously, tickets sold out. Did you try so- to secure? No, you're waiting was- to get invited. Yeah, per. yeah, <laughs> per. I was watching all the, the I was people. Like, I really I- hope I get invited. Like, I was in just a like, book, so yeah, small. I said, listen, I'm just gonna leave it to destiny. If I get invited, God, it's fine. I, that's the same thing I'm feeling about the end dubs one as well. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's in November, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. That's and soon, isn't it? No one's invited me, but... God no, no, no. No, no, no. We need to go to that one. But, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to... I saw, I saw people fighting for their lives for it, and I was like, girl, I cannot, I cannot please. I cannot take part. I just called my manager. I said, manager, please, can you call some... Maybe somebody has a box, please. I cannot, like... I, girl, I cannot fight for... And then they opened another release day, and then that one really sold chaotic. out. It was very chaotic. But... And the jeans, everybody said they're gonna wear high, wide, wide, wide leg. And it's a put the picture up. Wide, 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 wide leg jeans that look like parachute pants. You know, someone's really gonna take that literally and think everyone's gonna oh, do they that. They fucking are. And then they're gonna be they looking like a fully, fully. Like an idiot. And then they're gonna come and cuss and critique oh again God. with I've their fashion. I've come up with a new word, a fully, fully. <laughs> So please don't go and get don't the widest like jeans. Fully, fully, oh. Because Twitter, got, when I said that's what they do, that's not what they're because doing. Because the same twist that planned it will cuss you. As in, and you'll be looking like a fully, fully. Don't yeah. do that. Pure, don't do that. Dress. Honestly, but I love him. I really, really like Asaka. I think he's phenomenal. Obviously, he blew up from um, Sumba, Sumba, la ja, 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 Sumba, 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 and then since then, he has taken over. I feel like. Do, do you know Nigerian music? Um, I mean, kind of old school. Yeah, old there's school. something very nostalgic about him. He gives there's, me when I hear him, I just feel like I've been here before. Yeah, and I just want to dance. He gives me nine. You know, nine nice. Oh, nine I C E. Yes, nice I C E. Yes, that era of music. Mm-hmm. His voice gives me that era, like yeah, with it's a so, modern yeah, twist. With a modern twist. I know he apparently he came from Fuji music. He's a Fuji artist. Mm, so that's maybe where it comes from. I just love how he's very Yoruba conk Yoruba. Even the Yoruba is even too conk for us. That's it's too even, some, I need to dissect it myself. Wait, hold on. We need to let me Google what's your favorite what's your favorite Ashake song? Um I don't really know Mine any is Terminator of Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Do that one. Okay, cool. Let's look at the lyrics. People like us, yeah. They said everybody is landing lyrics. I his Yoruba is too fucking conk for me. So we need to learn the lyrics so that we can understand. Are you ready? So we're looking at uh, Terminator, but a lot of this yeah, is Asake, Asake Terminator. My banana, oh my banana, go chop my banana. So okay. okay. I've got Terminator up. Shawnee Power. That one's simple. Yeah. Wait, where is it? Where are you? My banana or my banana. Okay. The second. My banana or oh my banana. Come chop, chop my, my power. Shawnee Power. Bonikowa. Elemi lo my last. Elemi. Is it Elemi my enemy? Elemi. Elemi. That's my enemy, right? Elemi. I was thinking my spirit. Oh, is it Elemi? Loma. Yeah. Boniko Elemi Loma last. It won't be lost. What his enemy won't be. Oh, his himself. Uh, yeah. Elemi. Elemi. Lo. Is it look fam? Loma last. No, Elemi Loma last. That person will be last. So it's not so. Elemi Loma last. They yes. will be last. Yes. Okay. Edgy. 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 Malika. 
Oh, my Laika. Isn't that like the God, holy something? El my Laika. Because the thing is, it's true. Well, everybody is singing. What is he saying? He could be one curse, you know. That's what I'm saying. He could be saying, yeah, I'm going to be broken in Jesus' name and you're it's singing, it, you're singing it with heart. You learn the li- Don't just let the understand the translation. Understand it and Google Translate. No, what did it? What does it say? Eje me like her, me so tana. Eje me like her. Eje as in blood, my like her. Eje my like her. Yeah, it must be Eje, not Eje. Eje my like her, we ma we ma so tana. So tana is like um sultana. something that you say. So a white garment. Yeah, so tana. What the white garment? Something. Mm-hmm. So tana. Oh, it's the the waist one. Yeah, that, that would tie. Uh huh. Okay. Fucking hell, mate. This one is um knockbo knockbo nah knockbo 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 we don't get a good what is this peppery pepper that one I know peppery I don't know what he's saying <sighs> Kimi, 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 this Kimi one is for. not Yoruba is Kimi it Kimi for. Kimi for. don't fight K- which one Ka Jojo where Kimi. are you oh sorry I've lost okay where are you your body day amaze me you okay day, uh, your body amazing don't be late don't okay. keep English. waiting mm-hmm. no procrastinating English. terminator we don't get agreements so no English. terminating which one is mbobo nah mbobo I don't know what that means no song so nah no song that looks like Igbo mbobo mbobo chikwe me I know idaleka Moran, Morania, Morani. Where are you, bro? Are you <laughs> oh yeah, me rano like a Moran. Me rano ida cat like ah. <laughs> Fada, Moka, Mokaina. Fada, Mokaino. Fami, Fami Mora. Bring me closer, baby. Okinse, do you know what? Okinse minor. Okinse, ma- it's not a minor. It's not a minor. Omo ope tiberetan. Oye, come on, be let you, Mr. Money Mara and Elebu. Yeah, yeah, I don't think this one is Yoruba, though. It must be, but he's Yoruba. Fucking hell, because this one is not the Yoruba that my mom speaks either. You know, there's some, you know, the, I can understand my mom's Yoruba. I feel like my mom's Yoruba is very English. There's some people that's conk, and I don't fucking it's know what they're true. saying, mate. It's too it's much, too much, bro. But it's okay. It's coming to London. Yeah, it's no. To London. His um, concert is going to be a madness. It's going to be crazy. Make sure you learn the Yoruba lyrics. If you don't know the lyrics, if you don't know how to say Ashaka, then don't come. Don't, don't, don't ruin it. Right. We're going to move on. Um, obviously, that was hot new releases. We have got hot topics of the week. We've got Kanye West. So can Kanye Net Rest wore a White Lives Matter jumper to his Yeezy season night show in Paris. Um... A lot of people condemned him. Jaden Smith said that he left because it was just a mess. Kanye's behavior on Instagram, also telling him that he shouldn't speak on late designers and off-white founder Virgil Abloh. Again, there was a conversation that allegedly Kanye West, the Virgil Abloh um, love was very fake, that day he wasn't a real friend. He was angry because he got the Louis Vuitton job and Kanye West wanted the job. Um, Kanye West is going through a lot. He is... Talking about how he fancies Stassi, Kylie Jenner's friend. Like, he's just, at the moment, he is is very off the rails for me. But he does have mental health issues. He does. Um, I don't, is that an excuse? I mean, it's not an excuse, but it's always interesting where people seem to sympathise with the more vulnerable side of mental health. Mm. um, As in, like, mental health is only recognised when people are like, I'm depressed, cry, cry, yeah, cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's when it's expressed in a way that it's is sad, is sad and uh, like uh, vulnerable and timid, these type of ways, obviously, the type of way that Kanye West expresses his mental health, um, people are just gonna call him crazy. Mm. So I would, I said it, it is a valid excuse, but the way the world works, mental health is only a thing when the person is perceived as a victim. Yeah, and. Kanye West says, yeah, I'm fucking crazy, but I'm also a billionaire going to hell. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Do you know what I mean? I don't mean he said the Black Lives was all a scam anyway. It was a scam. I just... Black Lives Matter. Oh, it was a scam. Oh, yeah. In terms of, like, people were pushing it at the time and now y'all forgot about it. No, it was... Black Lives Matter. There was a documentary coming out. Black Lives Matter. Not the... So, not the movement itself, 
but the actual oh, um, where all the money organization they store all the money oh so that's really true that's true there's a documentary coming out and i can't wait for it black lives matter the institution st- created black lives matter people were f- were f- um donating and they blew all the money I think they made maybe they they um raised maybe 80 million wow. or they, they 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 made millions from Black Lives Matter. And they did that. and none of the money went towards the community rebuilding the community. That's it, crazy. I heard that there was someone spent 200k on transgender strippers. Whoa. Like, so that's how bad it was but there's a documentary coming out soon when i think when it, the time comes we will have that discussion yeah but yeah it was 100 percent a scam not the word itself but the, but the, the organization yeah, that yeah, yeah. was under it yeah that was under it yeah definitely different a scam but kanye west is i don't know it's difficult to defend him these days yeah no he's, he's very questionable yeah and very difficult to defend him yeah i just don't know what he's doing like I, he's just like spiraling out of control he is he is 100 percent, 100 percent. like do you think that kanye west is a genius mm, no i think he's very creative mm-hmm. but i don't think he's a genius no I really feel like he's a genius. Really? I mean, in terms of as a black man to get to a billion pounds, I feel like a lot. I feel like a lot of people who are. And to be fair, when I did see his documentary thing, he had I did yeah. look at him a lot differently. Like wow, oh yeah, he's crazy, but he knows what he's doing. Yeah, like I feel like you can't just for me. A, there are a lot of millionaires, a lot of multimillionaires. To get to billionaire status, you can't just be. I don't feel like you'd be an average person. And we're talking about a black man who Mm, came from nothing, nothing. a single parent home. We're not talking about someone that got a 50K loan. He literally came from the gutter. You can't compare him to Kim Kardashian. Well, people like to insult Kim Kardashian. He made a sex tape, he made a sex tape. Kanye didn't make a sex tape. Yeah. What can we say about him? Like, he is definitely not normal. But there's a lot, I feel like there's, but then... Is it that we find him, and I, I, it's all, it's always a, it's always a it, for me. It, it 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 makes me think about the um the social bu- bubble of and what we deem is normal and what we deem is mm. not normal. Yeah. So do we find what Ka- what Kanye West is doing abnormal because it is not in our social construct of what normality is? Do you know what I think it is? I think he's just a hypocrite because when he's going through his situations, he loves to play the black card when it comes to Kardash- the Kardashians. Yeah. When he was saying, oh, let's all stand together as a black man when he was trying to fight his case, he wanted everyone to be like, oh, look at what they're doing to me as a yeah. black man. And then now you're now flipping and put white lives matter on her. It's like, it kind of, the race card, you pull it out when it suits you. It's used. I don't know what the meaning was. I feel like apparently there was a deeper meaning behind it, but I don't know. I just feel like, if I'm being honest, I just feel like Kanye West is the definition of somebody who has relinquished the idea of giving a fuck. If, if we're talking about someone who yeah. doesn't give a fuck. That is it's fake. Kanye West. That's Kanye West. Even if that's the truth, there's a lot of things that people don't do mm-hmm. and don't say because of societal pressures uh-huh. or because people are afraid to do stuff. We can call him a madman, but to be fair, he does and says a lot of things that people think and talk about behind closed, closed doors. Closed doors, I was going to say. Like, something you would whisper to your friend, like, imagine him. <laughs> that you wouldn't have the audacity ever to ever say it publicly. Kanye will. Kanye will. And, and that's why we call him a madman, because he yeah. does a lot of stuff that people would be afraid to say publicly. Because you could be like, oh my days, I can't believe he said that about White Lives Matter. But considering the fact that we American people have had people like Donald Trump in power, Mm. a lot of people have had people who are super, super racist. There are people behind closed doors that wave that confederate flag and say White Lives Matter, but will never say it publicly. Oh, what like black people? Oh yeah, there are black people that would say that. Not just black people, white people. I mean, any people would say that, but they would never say it publicly. Oh, but all oh, they, they'll, they'll, they'll gentrify it and say all lives matter. Oh, all lives matter. They'll try to soften it. I, I know, and it's just I think it's just because Kanye is a black man and the state of his of his platform. So for it to come from him, it's just like. How could you say that? It's true. I was really taken aback by it. I was like, I could no longer defend you because I love Kanye. Yeah, you can't. And I love how he's 
I love how he's very don't give a fuck. And because he doesn't give a fuck, people will say he's crazy. But what is it to what is it to not be crazy? Is it to be silent? Because that's what you're saying. Like if if it's because Kanye West says everything that's going on in his life, he sends mm. texts, he says some crazy shit, is the normal to be silent and suppressed when you feel like you're being wronged? Um, no, I don't think it is, but uh, do you know what? I think maybe crazy isn't the right term to use. I feel like when they say crazy, I don't think they mean like cuckoo. Maybe some people mean cuckoo, but I think in terms of like, you're actually wrong. And I think Kanye is one of those people who yeah. can't tell him that he's, he's wrong. wrong. He and does give he me wrong with strong vibes. Yeah. yeah. He does give me wrong with strong vibes. Definitely does give me wrong with strong vibes. But honestly, yeah, I can no longer defend him. Kanye, you're doing a fucking lot these days. Yeah. And Kanye's the type of person, you'll tell him he's wrong and then he'll come back with something even harder to prove how wrong he was. <laughs> <laughs> and right. defend himself, honestly. And then he'll name drop a couple people that agreed Bruh. with him. He'll be like, yeah, but when I spoke to Bill Gates. And then bringing all this extra drama into the mix. And then Bill mix. Gates is thinking, well, what did I do? What, what did, did I, I say? Do? There? What did I do? Why you gonna try my name into it? screenshots of conver- conversation. Will A-list conversations. And, uh, and the thing is, we're not talking about A-list like Cardi B. We're talking about decision makers. May. We're talking about billionaires, like decision makers, like CEO of <laughs> companies that he were like, yeah, and I was speaking to this person and that person. Like, honestly, you can't shit on him, but right now he's doing a fucking lot. Yeah. He's doing a lot. Okay, we are going to move on to the next hot topic. We are praying for Kanye West because my brother is just doing too much in these streets right now. And I really, I don't know, man. I really co sign unhinged. I love people that are unhinged, but right now I just feel like it's taking it too far way too far okay cool we're gonna move on to the next hot topic of the week oh so we have had uh, a city boys down 200 moment a man taunted women for only ordering starters when they go out to eat a woman then revealed that he ducked out of his portion of the 8k drinks bill when they went to the club the internet did indeed have a field day you know what yeah can i just say yeah that whole fucking trip a thread killed me because he was trying to come at girls. He was trying to come. He was trying to come at girls and he she was like, hold on now. Hold on a minute. Hold on now, you brokey. She- hold on, you brokey. And it wasn't just her, it was bare girl. I love, yeah, when men get disgraced. Yeah, when they try When they eat. try it. Yeah. When they try it. Because let me tell you, you know who the real bad bees are? It's Mandem. Yeah. The real bad bees are Mandem. When you're in the club and you have that one bottle between the, the 12 of you. 20 of you. I've seen man them begging for girls for, for to sit on tables with girls. Like, it's just disgraceful. But then you want to be like, oh, like, man them are the biggest bad bees in this world. And then they'll be the first ones to open their mouths to shame girls. When to be shamed girls. When you two, you're the same with us, you better put your mini skirt on and your boots and your boot shoes. And twerk. And you better bounce for, you better bounce for, for them drinks bounce, like the rest of us. Bounce for mummy now, come on. Come on now. A lot of you are bouncing on your rich friend's you're bouncing for your rich friends. There's only, out of all 20 of you, man, them, there's only one there that really has the real spender. And then the rest of you lot want to be acting like... Like, and, and do you know what's so mad? Do you know what's so mad? It's the guy that doesn't pay for the drink that will be do that be holding the bottle. Yeah, holding the bottle. Bruh. You're holding the bottle. Oh yeah, these oh, girls are just looking for drink. You'll try to police the girls police that the girls. are on the table. You're not even fitting the bill, my nigga. Are you dumb? You're not even holding the bill. You're holding like I remember one time I sat at this, I, sat, I imagine I wanted to I wanted to um I was at a party and you know when the girl you know when the high heel shoes just start mm-hmm. hurting. Yeah, you just wanna sit down. I wanna sit down. So I, I wasn't even looking imagine the even the even the the cheap whiskey <laughs> that they bought. No, I've never seen that brand do one cheap brand like this. I was sitting down and said, my feet are killing me, babe. You know the man them, they picked up their cheap whiskey and they started, I was looking at them thinking, are you, f- are you, f- are you, are you trying to insult me right now? Are you sick? Because of your cheap, what, what do you think I'm gonna do with that, sir? Not even Shiva's Regal whiskey. I'm brand, cheap, cheap whiskey. I've never seen that brand in my life. What do you think I'm gonna do? Yeah, calm down. Calm down. And it's not you that even paid the bill. It's not even you that footed. You're holding. You're holding the drink like the under drugs. your armpits. Like it's so embarrassed. That like, you can just tell. I, I remember I was talking to one of my American friends. Yeah, and it's so funny. She was like, "Listen, you know when you go to the club, and like the bill comes, the bill comes now, 
And you know, you know, you know, you know, you know a rich, you know a guy that has money. They'll be like, "What? Well, how much is that? How much is that? Five k. Mm. Okay, cool. Take this stack mm-hmm. dollars. You know they have the they they use money. Yeah, stack yeah, yeah. Dollars. The broke ones they'll not be peeling. Twenty, forty, mm-hmm. or even they'll the be calculating. Peeling. One, one will look at it. Peeling and then start. We'll go to peeling. this one. We'll go to, oh. This one, she was a calculation peeling. Yeah, now you're you're so scared to depart from the money, so shy, so nervous. But the thing is, who even told you to come and act like the big boy is like? It's it. Get, listen, and you know what's so amazing? When you start making your own money, you start clocking them. Ah, that guy's not clocking them. You start clocking them. You're like, you're, you know, you're embarrassed. You're actually embarrassing right now. No one is looking for your cheap drink. That one. No you, one. They, you're lot of snappy snark sparklers. Sparklers. Like y'all think you're doing it. You're doing body, 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 racking. Sis, bo- the band battle. The is even empty now. You're still holding it. Holding to- it. <laughs> Hold, woman, you, woman, it under your armpit because you did a bottle popping oh, in the club. You know the ones that they take the bottle and they will circle that club. Or yeah. How many times? Yeah. We saw you. Sir. I told a story where there was a boy that I, I was standing by the bar, and there was a boy that that paid for a bottle. And he was like, yeah, obviously, we're going to pay for these two bottles, but don't forget the sparklers in it. Don't forget the sparklers. Don't forget the spark." I said, you're so fucking embarrassing. Oh, so this one so is not even for drinking. This is for show and tell. They, they're they going to know we got a bottle. They're going to know that we bought that we bought a 70... Two for, bottles. Two bottles between the seven of us. Yeah. Like... It's fucking, it's fucking embarrassing. I'm so glad. The girls called about because they pay... First of all, I don't know who, what, what you ate... That came up to six thousand pounds. Wait, what was this? I thought it was a club. Was it a club? Yeah, I think it was a club. It in was a London. was it club f- six eight bags. Eight k. But the thing is, though, clubbing it in West London, though, with a table and you're letting girls come up and down, you have to have money like that. Because that's where the footballers go to club, Libertine and them. So if you've got a table, they don't cap it. Like if someone else asks for a drink and you're not watching them, they'll bring the drink. Oh, like they'll bring the drink. So it's like if you were rolling on a budget, then you should have just. Not Apparently, he disappeared. He disappeared like um like a magician and didn't come. But well, man, them will do it. Man, them will do that. And the, the thing is, they'll be sitting at the, sitting at the bo- sitting at the at the at the table with their rich friend. I'm telling you, they, all all man, them have a rich friend. Yeah, there's just one. That was like that story that um Brini Lee told. Oh, yeah. And they will be the most chilled one. Yeah, the one I swear that's the thing. The one with the guys, they don't mind they don't. spending money on the girls. It's just like, yeah, let the girls have a good time, it's fine. Because money doesn't mean anything to them. What's two thousand pounds? They just wanna have a good time. What's peace? The, peace. It's the man them that the friend that's with no money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. This one needs it for money. No, this yeah, girl, this no, girl. Yeah, no, no one allowed you on the table. Hello, it man. She just look for a table. Relax. Like you're so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Sit the fuck down. Honestly, it's just so. Sit corny. the fuck down. It's corny because it's not even your money. Why you? And then what do you do? You so. If you want him to be your boyfriend, you should just say. Just ask him. Just ask him. Maybe he, will say, maybe yeah, he likes you maybe too. Maybe he likes you too. Because bro, you're going to police his money. But guess what? When you two, you will now be pouring drink. Like mm, a bad bee. Like a bad bee. You, be- you better start talk for him as well. Fam. You better start bouncing that ass. Body, body, bounce that ass for him. Because he's buying you drinks. You the bad bee of mm-hmm. the night. You better start putting. That's swing your sugar it. daddy. That's your sugar daddy. You better rap. You better move. You better shake for him. Since you don't want him to have girls, you shake. Uh-huh. Since you don't want him to Even have like girls, you shake. Him girlfriend. Trust me, you better shake for him, my G. Yeah. So embarrassing. I'm telling you. The boy is denying that he did it. Ah, boys do it all the time. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. He did well, it. is he gonna come say, yeah, man, do I want to spend on the table? It K, fuck it, no, no. I thought the day I do that, just I'm really rich. Ah, uh, I really rich. Like really and truly, very. I'm rich. really rich. Eight K. The a thing is, madness. even if even if I'm a baller, yeah, I feel like that. Even that, my mind could not comprehend. Spending you know, eight K on a night. <sighs> but that's what them footballers do, though. But they got. But they, but when you're making two hundred K a week. But that's the kind of people I'm expecting to have them tables like that. Like not, if, not, not regular you, nine to five like, girls. No. Not regular not regular nine to five girls. Like it doesn't make sense, but the thing is, you know, everyone would die for clout, man. It's everyone would die for, for the snaps. And these you, London clubs not even lit like that to me. That's be what I'm even. saying. You could have booked a holiday in Dubai. Uh, as and in got real niggas that would have paid for the table. That would have paid for the table, my G. Do you know what I'm saying? Is. You don't even need to do all of that. 
Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to close it from there. I'm tired. Guys, <sighs> we're going to close from there. It's been an honor spending time with you. I miss you guys. Um, make sure that you guys check out Press Podcast after this one. They have an episode every Friday. So your Wednesday should be here and your Friday should be a motherfucking press man. But my sister, how did they find you? You can find me on Instagram everywhere, TikTok, Adiola Patron, one and only. You know the vibes already. <laughs> right. We love you and hope you have a fantastic week i've got something for you as well for black history month happy black history month here in the uk we got something cooking in the kitchen but for now i'm gonna say bye and we motherfucking outside oh a cut of the takeaways is now an award-winning podcast so you better get some motherfucking note okay yeah yeah we out